The channel is almost four years old, and over the years, we've opened up so many different Pokemon card sets, from all the way back to the original first edition 1999 base, all the way through to almost every single set of Pokemon cards ever made. So today, I thought we'd walk down memory lane and check out every single Wizard of the Coast box that we've opened up, starting with base set and going all the way through to Sky Ridge. If you guys enjoy content like this, let me know by smashing the like button, and also leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite set is from today's stream. Today, we are making history right here in the poke cave because we are opening up a first edition base set booster box so check it out right in front of me here it is the first edition base set booster box i cannot make this up are already shaking like crazy so here we go guys charizard is going in as the first pack that we're opening up tonight now you guys don't know first edition base packs are pretty tricky to open up because the the crimps on them are like super super closed and here we go we're going into it we're gonna do like we usually do three from the back if i could get my hands steady here we're gonna be very very careful with these and i'm not wearing gloves because gloves can actually make things worse you don't know how how much pressure you're putting on the card or anything like that but here we go this is a legit first edition base set booster boxer starting it off with a magmar uncommon so i'm gonna try to tell you guys some of the prices on here um i have them to the side of me there's so many so if i could check I will, but in a PSA 10, a Magmar is going for about a hundred bucks, I believe. Yes, we got a Pokemon Center. Uh, let me put this over here so we can see it on the screen. There we go, right here. Okay, all right, guys. We have a Pokemon Center. We have a Radicate. We got a Machop, like a Machop card. I think in a PSA 10 is sixty to seventy dollars. You can't make this up, guys. Every single card here. Is insane. A leaf energy or a grass energy. Um, even energy cards are like 30 to 40 bucks in a PSA 10. We have a polywag coming in. Um, another card I think might be about 80 bucks. It's hard to see all the prices on the side of me here. We got a Nidoran coming in. All right, guys. <laughs> we got a Rattata. I think this one is also about a $60 card in a PSA 10. And yes, guys, if you don't know, first edition base. You have the first edition base set stamp there. You have Shadowless. It is everything. It is the top of the top box set. Everything. We're going in right now. We got a lightning energy. Here we go, guys. We're coming up on one more common card. We got the Ghastly. Let's finish it off strong right now. We got a Hitmonchan coming in out of pack number one, guys. So let's go, guys. Right now, I need everybody in the chat. Let's get it. If you're new here, leave an emoji for good luck. Oh, there it is. You guys already started it with an Ivysaur. Now, this card is an uncommon. If I can find it on here, I, I we priced out every single card here. This is $300 in a PSA 10. If you get this card graded in 10, and I'll tell you right now, the centering on these cards is absolutely insane. Oh, there we go. Lootbox TV, I see you in the house with the super chat. Thank you so much. We got him a choke. Make sure you guys check out Lootbox TV. Awesome YouTuber. Awesome friend. Um, just a really great guy. And Andrew as well. We got a Grass Energy. Then we got the Poliwag. Coming up on a Nidoran. We got a Rattata. We're looking for some better better common cards out of here. We want to get the Charmander. We want to get Squirtle. We want to get Bulbasaur. We even want Caterpie, believe it or not. We got a Lightning Energy. And oh, we got a po we got a Poliwrath coming in as the Hollow. I totally just messed that up. The Ghastly Dojuo. And we already got another Hollow out of there, guys. How insane is this? The Polyrath coming in as hollow number two. I got to get the head steady. But there it is, guys. Check it out. Polyrath starting off with the Porygon. Oh, we got the Charmeleon. Let's go. Charmeleon in a PSA 10. What are you worth? Um, 350 bucks in a PSA 10. If you could get that in a PSA 10, that is sick. A maintenance. The Porygon, I think probably 100 bucks at least. Uh, I can't really stop to look at every price there. But Sandshrew... We got a Weedle. If that was a Caterpie, surprisingly, that would have been even more sick. The Rattata, I think, uh, 70, 80 bucks in a PSA 10. We got a Water Energy. We got a Drowsy. Come on, guys. Let's get it right now. We got a Poliwag. Finish it off with a big one. Fighting Energy and... Oh, we got a Mewtwo. Are you kidding me right now? The Poke Game luck is absolutely insane. We got three Hollows. Already out of four packs. You guys have been creating such an awesome community and we're doing it together. Everybody here, we're making this happen. We got a revive. We got a psychic energy. And again, these are all going out to all of you guys that participated in this booster box opening. 
Um, it's just, it makes me so happy and so excited to pull these cards out because I know it's going to all of you guys, all the people out there that are supporting the channel. You guys are the ones getting these cards. We got a Water Energy. We got a Diglett. Let's get a big hit right now, guys. Let's get the Charizard out of here for Torsten S. We got a Staryu. We got a Polyrath again coming in out of uh, whatever pack this is. Pack number 11. This one is looking actually really, really well centered. So three from the back coming in. All right, let's get the luck. We got Poliwhirl. We got Eradicate. Can we get a War Turtle yet? Nope. Pokedex. We got a Magnemite. Water Energy. We got the Nidoran. We haven't seen Bulbasaur yet. We got a Diglett. We got an Abra. Fire Energy. I always love seeing that. I always love seeing the Fire Energy. We got a Starmie. We're coming up on the last card right now. Let's get the luck going. Let's get it. Oh, there it is! We got a Venusaur coming in as Hollow number five. This is a huge hit, worth almost five thousand dollars in a PSA. This is one of the original starters, fully evolved in Hollow form. Uh, TCA Gaming got scammed back in the day when he was getting started, so you got to be careful. We got a Seal, we got a Revive, Nidorino. We still haven't seen that War Turtle again. That's like an eight hundred dollar card. I guess that's why you haven't seen it. It might, maybe they didn't see him in here as as often as other cards, uh, because we're seeing these. Nidoran, we've seen that. Diglett, we got an Abra. Let's go, guys. This is for Timothy B. Let's get the luck right now. We got a Fire Energy. We got a Starmie. Ponyta coming in. Fighting Energy. This is going to be at the final card. Let's get a huge hit right now for Timothy B. Let's go. Oh, we got another Polyrath. We got a trio of Polyraths coming out of this box. This is insane. Let's see if we get some big hits out of here. We got three from the back. I'm feeling lucky, guys. I'm feeling like we could do it. We got a Jinx coming in as the first one. I don't know what this one is worth off the top of my head, but we're going to keep moving. We got a Full Heal. Kakuna. We got a Dojuo. Fire Energy. Let's go. Fire Energy for the luck. Gust of Wind. We got a Machop. A Lightning Energy. What are we going to get? A Ghastly. Let's go, guys. I want to see a Charizard out of here. Oh, the red threw me off there for a second. My my stomach just sank. There's one more card after this. All right, guys. Oh, we got the chance to another hollow in a row. This box is loaded. We're doing really well. So here we go. Can we make the magic happen, guys? Let's do it. Venusaur pack to the side. We got three coming in. We got to get the Charizard, guys. Charizard, PSA 10. Oh, we got a Kadabra. That is worth a good amount of money as well. So Kadabra comes in at... Kadabra is 300 bucks in a PSA 10, if you could grade that in a 10. Plus power, we got a Dugong. Now Charizard in a PSA 10 is looking like $50,000 or more, which is absolutely insane. Psychic Energy, we got a Tangela. Blastoise, $7,500 in a PSA 10. Venusaur, which we pulled, five grand or so in a PSA 10. We got the Bill. We got Fighting Energy. We got a Vulpix. Let's go, let's make it happen. Oh, we got a Needle King, another hollow coming out of this first edition base set booster box, guys. This is absolutely insane what we're doing here right now. Can we get it? Can we get the Charizard as our final pack in this booster box opening? This $90,000 plus booster box opening, a first edition base. The original set that we grew up with that shaped our childhood back in the day. Can we do it right now? This is nostalgia. This is the, the peak of Pokemon. This is the highest of highest. If you pull a Charizard, that is the top, most valuable, most sought after card that you could pull out in Pokemon history. Period. That's a good sign. We got the Charmander. We got the Charmander. Let's go, guys. I need everybody. We need the fire right now in the chat. We got a Metapod. Psychic energy Guys, this is our final moment. This will define the rest of this pack We got an energy removal This is going to be the final pack of our first edition base set booster box opening I need everybody here right now to bring everything you got. I want that chat blown up Right now the final final one Can we do it? Oh, we got the Blastoise coming in as the last pack coming out of this first edition base set booster box. To the Poke Cave, we're opening up a first edition 
Jungle Booster Box. Nick M, let's see if we can get you some luck with this Wiggly Tough um, Booster Pack artwork here. We're gonna go three from the back. And we're gonna go into it. We got Lick It Song. Like, this is OG Jungle. Oh, we got the Butterfree. It's not the D edition error. So there's an error with this card where the stamp with the with the one actually looks like a D. So that was an error. And that card has climbed so much in value. Um, I wrote it down here as well. Uh, where is it though? Butterfree D edition. About 250 bucks in a PSA 10. So that's the regular version. The Cubone, the same thing. Cubone is a very popular Pokemon going for about 80 bucks in a PSA 10. So that's what I'm talking about with these non hollows. Uh, a lot of them are very valuable. The Eevee, that's a great hit. $75. Pikachu, we're getting all the big hits here. Almost 100 bucks in a PSA 10. Goldeen, let's see if we can finish it strong. Yep, we can. We got a victory bell holographic card out of one pack. Let's start it off. We got a Seeking. Nidorina, the Lickitung, Rhyhorn, we got a Venonat, Bellsprout, we got a Spearow, Meowth, that's right, Mankey, Goldeen, let's see if we can finish this strong, we got a Pidgeot Hollow, that is Hollow number two, um, it's a time just to, to relax, enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing, and not, you know, not have too many worries going on, and kind of zone out, and just have a good time with everybody, Rapidash, I know in a PSA 10 is about 50 bucks, Persian, uh, we got a Venonat, Nidoran, Mankey, we got to Execute, Jigglypuff, anybody want to sing the Jigglypuff song? So it looks like there's a little ink uh, smudge right there on the left side, um, but yeah, and a Cubone, and let's see what we can finish it off after the Paris, of course. Snorlax, yo, that is one of the biggest hits you can get out of this set. I believe we are three Hollows in, if I remember correctly. So we're doing good. We got a ride on. And most of the time, you're going to see in all these old Wizards of the Coast era uh, booster boxes that around 12 of the packs will contain hollow cards. So an average of one out of three. Bell Sprout. We got a Spearow. Meowth. There's Mankey. I love Mankey. You know why? Because Mankey, whoever came up with this, they're like, you know what? I got a great idea for, for a card. We'll make this look pretty much like a monkey. Right? I'm gonna tell you this. We're gonna call it Mankey. And then they were like, You got the job. That is the name of that Pokemon right there. Goldeen! And we got a Kangaskhan! That's another huge hit out of jungle! And guys, I haven't given up yet on that Ivy Pikachu uh error card pull. Because you could get it, even though you see the regular Pikachu in here, the Ivy Pikachu, which is originally a Black Star promo uh in this set, you could pull it even though there are other regular Pikachus in here. So I will not give up on that. If we pull that, I, I honestly, I'll be most excited for that card over any card, even a hollow. Goldeen, I actually went on eBay and I purchased a loose one uh, earlier today because I was blown away when I found out about all this information. I literally just learned about all of this today. There's a Cubone. We got the Flareon as soon as I called the Evolutions. I see people in the chat right now calling out Flareon as well with that hashtag. But I always go through and I read every single live chat comment. So I will make sure that I see what all you guys are saying in there. And I truly appreciate every one of you that are here tonight in the Poke Cave. We got a Cubo and that is another huge hit. A Venonat. Jigglypuff. And Eevee. We got all the huge hits. We just got to get Pikachu. Let's see if we get a Pikachu back here. Nidoran. Spearow. Let's see what we can do. Oddish and Venomoth. We got another hollow hit. Let's go. All right. All right. Three from the back. We got Marowak. Cubone's mom. Firo. Primeape. Oh, and Mankey. So Primeape and Mankey back to back. I like both of those Pokemon. And Pikachu. Good hit. Venonat. We got an Eevee, another one of the... So Pikachu and Eevee are like the top two, and Cubone are like the top three. And then Jigglypuff right under. Nidoran, we got a Bellsprout. And we got a Pinsir! Is it the Scratch? No, it's not the Scratch error, but still, it's a Pinsir. Has some, some serious uh, corner wear on every single corner, actually. So it looks like it was cut uh, in a way where there's whitening. So we're going to see what that is. And um, so this one was for Richard T., so let's see what we could do here. Dodrio. We got a Pokeball. Oddish. Nidoran. Bellsprout. We got an Execute. 
a manky, aka monkey, Paris. Yo, there's the Scyther. Woo, Scyther, Scy. I don't know. Scyther must have had. That's a huge hit, first of all. But Scyther must have had uh, not sharpened his blades because, um, unfortunately, like the corners here are are pretty cut, like not well. All right, so three from the back. Dodrio to start off with the uncommon Executor. I did see a Pikachu in there uh, as the first card. There it is. It wasn't the Ivy one. Oh my! I will. I will probably jump out of my seat through the roof. If somehow we got an Ivy Pikachu out of here, like I, ah, Eevee, like the lore of pulling that, that Ivy Pikachu just has me going crazy. I, like I mentioned earlier and the Cubone. So you got Pikachu, Eevee and Cubone. Those are like insane common cards to hit. Um, like I, I immediately purchased a, oh, yo, let's go Jolteon. The evolution has appeared. The alien emoji in particular is very lucky. So if you guys, Throw, spam the chat with the alien emoji and the fire and maybe a little spaghetti meatball sauce. I think that might do it. So let's see. Let's see what we could do. All right. So Jeff, best of luck. We're going to start it with a prime ape. We got a Rapidash. We got Weeping Bell. Execute. There's Eevee. That's a good sign. We want the evolution. We got a Venonat. Cubone. That's another good sign. That's another really good common hit. Mankey the monkey. Pokeball, let's go. Come on. Let's see what we can do. I, I appreciate everybody in the chat's bringing some luck. Oh, it's a Mr. Mime. Yo, it still worked, though. And it's a Psychic. So I don't know if Alien is bringing the Psychic, like, energies. But that brought us the Mr. Mime Hollow. Oh, we got a lot of start to finish people in the house. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Seeking. We got a Parasect. Come on. Last pack magic. Give me some good luck in the chat right now, guys. Blow it up. Give me Alien luck. Give me... Give me spaceships. Give me give me fire. Give me. I'll take some pancakes too, honestly. <laughs> we got a Venonat. An execute. Let's go. Let's go. We got a Pokeball. Here comes the luck. Here comes the luck. Here comes the luck. We got it. Rhyhorn. Let's finish this strong, guys. Let's finish this with a hollow hit. A Jigglypuff. An Oddish. Yo, Mind Climb! We got a we got a Mr. Mime to finish it off. So that was our only duplicate. The year is 1999, and Pokemon is on to their third set. First edition fossil. That last card is gonna be our rare. Could be a hollow, you never know. But we're gonna find out right now. Start it off with a ghastly. Oh, I love this. We got a sand slash. We got a golem. Now, this is the smallest set Pokemon has ever released with only. 62 cards in the entire set. You can see down here on the bottom, it's 61 out of 62 on this card. Got a Gambler. Horsey. We got an Ekans. A Zubat. Geodude, we're coming up on the final card. Can we make this our first hollow hit of the night? Oh, we just got one of the biggest hits in the entire set. Having a place to, to come hang out together and watch it all go down and kind of react and see... What everybody's thinking on the auctions is, is in my opinion, um, it's a lot of fun. So, I appreciate you guys for uh, being here for that. We got an Arbuck. We got a Sand Slash. There is a Krabby. Slowpoke. Mysterious Fossil. Let's see if we can get our second hollow hit of the night. You guys put your guesses in. We got two, zero, three, two, four, three, two. Trainer Trey says two. Uh, Scotty says three. Ant says, uh, uh, Ant says, what's up? What's going on, Ant? <laughs> we got... Nolan says one. Willie says two. Lootbox is saying two. All right, guys. Let's see what we get. Zubat and Horsey. And oh, we got a hollow hit out of the first pack. It is a Magneton. I'm very curious to see how many new people we have here. We're almost at 1,000 live viewers. And you can hashtag old if you're old. I love to see all the OGs in the house. Anton is here. Uh, we got a lot of people. We got a Cedra. A Graveler. We've got a Golduck. All right, guys. I think we're due for a big hollow head. What do you think? Geodude. We got a Horsey. Let's make it happen. I'm going to say there's going to be a hollow in this one. I'm just going to take a random guess, and I'm going to say it's going to be... I'm going to say it's going to be a Gengar. Gengar hollow. That's my guess. Mysterious Fossil. Arceus, if you're there, make it happen. Oh, yo, I will take that, though. We got an Articuno hollow hit. 
So three from the back on the final, final pack for Felipe. Let's see if we can make it happen here on pack number three. We got a Weezing, a Graveler. We got a Mysterious Fossil. Everybody's having a good time. Thank you guys so much for letting me know. Means a lot having you guys come ha hang out here in the Poke Cave. We got a Kabuto. We got a Psyduck. Final card is going to be. Oh, we got a Kabutops Hollow hit on the last pack. Magic, let's go. So, yeah, if you stick around, you'll be able to check that out. We got a Golduck, an Arbuck, and again, it's going to be a set that we've never opened up before. It's a big one, guys. I think I asked you to you guys to guess uh, which set it was. So, if you guys didn't do that already, let me know which set you think it is. But we also got Joshua is in the house right now and said, that is me. So, guys, you got to wish Joshua the luck. Joshua is here. So, we got an Energy Search. We got an Ammonite. I love when people are here watching it live go down. The suspense, right? Let's see if we can do one pack magic for Joshua. Let's go. Let's go. A Gambler. We got a Geo, dude. My heart's pumping for you, Joshua. Yo, let's go. One pack magic. We got a Hypno Hollow hit out of one single pack. That is what I'm talking about. Um, during live events and stuff like that, make sure you check them out. We got a Golbat. Mr. Fuji. Kingler. We got an Ammonite. Again, this is for Mike D. So let's see if we can get some one pack magic. Seems like we get a lot of one pack magic in the Poke Cave. I don't know why, but it just always seems like that. So we're going to have a Krabby. We're going to finish it off with. Oh, we got another Magneton. We actually doubled up on this one. Let's get another Dragonite. Seedra. Gambler. We got a Krabby, a Shelter. Got an Ekans. A mysterious fossil. What's it gonna be? What are we gonna finish it off after? Of course, after this common. I didn't call last card. Or did I? Yo! We double up on an Articuno! Let's go! Not again. <laughs> Not another um, error box. We've already had two error boxes here in the Poker Cave. <laughs> Could you imagine if we pulled two hollows out of one pack? I don't think I've ever seen that for a fossil pack. That would be a first. Got a gambler, but you never know, guys. This is the Poke Cave. We do weird things. Weird things happen here. Tentacle. Oh, yo, we got a haunter out of the first pack. Poke Collections Worldwide says, Is Haunter the only stage two Pokemon as a hollow? Yes, I believe so. Uh, because I, I feel like Haunter was such a popular Pokemon that they had to throw it in as a hollow in there. This, I think the anime is what did it. Rhyme Style is also saying Gengar is rolling up in about 30 seconds. Sean says Gengar, Fred says Hitmon, uh, Hitmon Lee, Evelyn says Lapras, Kush says Zapdos, James says Kabutops, Maddie says Ditto, Jesse says Muck, uh, Tom says Muck, Ryan says Ditto, let's see what happens here, alright, the final pack for Ryan, what's it gonna be guys, will we get another hollow hit out of here, here we go. Booyah, that is the Zapdos hollow number two out of three packs. You never quit. You can never <laughs> you can never give it up no matter what. It's for life. We got Graveler. Tentacruel. Cloister. Shelter. Trainer Trey keeping track of all of the hollow hits. If you guys are interested, make sure you check out Trainer Trey set on there. We got Pokedeek in the house as well. We got a Slowpoke, a Kabuto. Let's see what we can get out of here out of this one pack for Andrew L. It is a Hitmon Lee! Let's go! Hitmonlee Hollow Hit coming in out of one pack and one pack only. I think we could maybe get another Dragonite out of here. We'll take a Lapras. I still, I want to see a Gengar. That would be awesome. We got a Mysterious Fossil. A Krabby. Energy Search. Ammonite. Shelter. A Kabuto. A Psyduck. And the final card is a Hollow Muck. I just saw like three people call that. So that's my guess anyway. We got an Amistar. A Cloister. A Recycle. Tentacle. We've got a Grimer, a Slowpoke, a Horsey. This is for Felipe. A Psyduck. And a, we got a Hollow Kabutops again. Welcome to the Poker Cave. I have a question for you guys. What happens when you take a base unlimited booster box and you mix it with a jungle booster box? Both of these from the year 1999. What is the result? What do you get? When you combine both of those. Well, I'll tell you right now, guys. You get a base set 2 booster box. Because inside here are going to be all reprints from the original 1999 base set. 
and jungle set uh, for Tommy M. Starting off with the lightning energy and the psychic. We got a Rhydon, a full heal, Haunter. Haunt, haunt, haunt. I love uh, <laughs> Haunter is just like one of the coolest Pokemon. And Squirtle. We got Machop, Metapod. Don't forget, guys, you can pull a Charizard out of here with the original base set um, artwork. That's a big hitter for sure. The Blastoise is a big one. We got a Starmie. Come on, let's get our first big hit. Oh, we got a Chansey Hollow hit. Duga. So that's a uh, base set. This one's a base set. This is Jungle, the Cubone. This is one of the, probably one of the best Cubone artworks of all time, in my opinion. Drowsy from base set. Voltor from base set. Nidoran, female from Jungle. We got an Abra from base set. And the final card for Kirk is going to be. Ooh, Magneton, hollow number two, back to back in a row. Let's go. Thank you so much, Ace. Truly appreciate that. Um, but let's go. The Bat family is saying, let's pull some Zards. Michael uh, B with the pancakes. I like that. <laughs> All right. Come on. We got a Growlithe. This one's from base set as well. We got a Doduo. A Starmie. We got a Rhyhorn. A Venonat. These are from Jungle. Abra's from base. We're going to finish it off with... Oh, a Hitmonchan. That is our third hollow hit of the night. And Jungle into one set and create it this time. This beast of a set, base set two, we got a Haunter. And as you can see, it has a two symbol on the side there. That is the symbol for the set. Executor, we haven't hit that one yet. Dodrio, hashtag believe. <laughs> that is right. We got a Pikachu, and that's the second one we've seen tonight. No duo, come on. Starmie, let's get a big hit. Let's get a big hit. Rhyhorn. Oh, Nidoking! Yes, we got a hollow hit out of this second pack in for Henry. This is from the original base set. Ooh, so check this out. This card, actually, the coloring is different. See that? It's a lot lighter. So that could mean that maybe this is a hollow because it could have came off a different sheet. But that is, like, substantially uh, different hue there or con um, of vibrance on that card. So let's see if that one... I, I feel like this might have a hollow in it. It's possible. It could just be a regular non hollow rare because those might have been on a separate sheet. But we got an Onyx. We haven't hit that one yet. That's from base set. Um, a Nidoran. We got a Pidgey. Poliwag. This could be a big hit, guys. Lock on the screen right now, whatever you're doing. Ready? Oh, it is. It's the Blastoise. Let's go. One of the biggest hits in this set. Henry has two hollow hits already. Um, it's just on a roll. This is the fourth pack. So we got a Charmeleon. We haven't hit our boy Charizard yet, which is definitely the biggest hit in this box. I would say the Blastoise, uh, value-wise, is for sure probably the second biggest. We got a Diglett. We got a Drowsy. What's it going to be? Another one! That is it! We doubled up on Nidoking! It's going to be the biggest opening by far. So, we're going to be pulling a lot of fire out of there. And again, guys, Dallas R, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can do. Nidorina! We got a Machoke. Plus power. There's Caterpie. That is Ash's second Pokemon. First Pokemon to ever catch in the wild. And it, I mean, it involves, I really want that Butterfree. Have you guys seen the Butterfree from Darkness Ablaze? That thing is sick. I really want to get that card. And let me know, guys, hashtag yes in the chat if you want to see a Darkness Ablaze opening. Um, which I can probably do very, very soon here. If you guys are interested, like within the next day or two, let me know. We got a Bill. Of course, we want to see that Charizard V and VMAX. We got an Execute, but Butterfree, I just love that Pokemon. It's so nostalgic from back in the day. Oh, that is a huge hit. We just got a Glafable. Now, Christopher B is going in with just one pack. So let's see if we can get one pack magic tonight for Christopher B. We also got Josh Evans with the Super Chat. Thank you so much. Dragonite should have been featured more in older sets than the Charizard since Dragonite was the original Dragon type. And when one on one in an old school battle, Dragonite wins every time. You know what? Dragonite, like, if, if there wasn't Charizard, we got a War Troll, that's an awesome hit. If there wasn't Charizard, I feel like they would have did more Dragonites. Um, that was like the, like the the Pokemon that everybody like always wondered about, like just came out of the sea in that one episode. Um, when they went to visit Bill, Bill, I believe it was. Yeah, so it's usually about 12. Um, it's not gonna be any more or less than any of the Watsy boxes, but um, 
I mean, you never know. Sometimes we do get like 13 or 14 hollows out of a box. So it is possible that we could have an extra one or two in here. We got a potion. It's definitely been done a bunch of times. We got an Alakazam out of one bag. So we are pulling a lot of hollows out of here. I've completely lost track of how many that we pulled, but we got an Alakazam, another OG base set artwork. Michael Fox with the super chat. What's up, Rev and Poke Cave? Just wanted to say, I think Butterfree from Jungle Set should have been a hollow. Good luck to everybody who bought packs. You know what? That's another one. I never even thought of that one. From Jungle, that would have been amazing. Could you imagine? We got a Charmeleon. Again, this is for Jeff S. Could you imagine? They had Butterfree from Jungle. They do have an error card on um, the D edition Butterfree from Jungle, which is, which is cool. You know, it's not a hollow, though. But let's see what we can do. Got a Paris. Pettis, Pettis. Oh, another hollow. We get banging out hollows left and right here and in this box. Who knows? We could have more than 12 in here. All right. So. Tatiana, let's see if we can get you out of here. And also, Bad at Smash, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bad at Smash says, yo, congrats on hitting 30K. Also, congrats to Rhyme Style on 1 million. Absolutely, shout out uh, to Rhyme Style for hitting that 1 million mark, which, I mean, I, I, saw, I saw his 1 million video and just, like, the amount of work that he puts into his channel and passion is just absolutely, uh, it's awesome. I mean, it's amazing. So, a choke. We got a plus power. There's Magikarp again. Pidgey, can we get our Charizard out of here is the question, though. Poliwag, rat -ta, ta ta Pattis, and can we do it? For Tatiana, can we get a hollow hit? Rhyhorn. Yo, another Chansey. We'll take it, though. Chansey hit number two out of one single pack. It almost feels like this box has extra hollows, like Rhyme Style was saying, because... I don't know what it is, but we keep hitting hollows, and I've completely lost track. There's a Parasect from Jungle. We haven't hit that yet. A Polygoral from base. We did get the double colorless in the last pack. Gust of Wind. I don't think we hit that one yet. Maybe we did. Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Pattis. Pattis, Pattis. Got an Onyx. Who doesn't say its own name? It just goes, raw. All right. Let's see what we get for Joshua C. Yo, another Clevable. This This box is loaded. We got a lightning energy. A water energy. Raticate. Parasect from jungle. Poliwhirl from base. We got a Rhyhorn from jungle. A Meowth from jungle. Gust of Wind from base. Squirtle! Squirtle Squad. We got Squirtle Squad in the house tonight. We got a Tangela. Charizard! Alien! Arceus! Bidoof! Make it happen, guys! Oh, there it is! We got the Charizard out of one single pack! Let's go! There's only a few, a handful of other hollows that we hit in here. And they're Charizard and Blastoise being two of the big ones. Jigglypuff! Got an energy removal. A Rhyhorn. Got a Diglett Dig. Drowsy. Yo, Nido Queen, let's go! This box is officially loaded! Because we're gonna be opening up an entire booster box of first edition Team Rocket. So here it is, guys. This is a set that was released all the way back in the year 2000. And I'm talking about Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise, Secret Rare Raichu, uh, Rainbow Energy, Dark Magneton. These are all huge hits worth thousands and thousands of dollars. But here we go. We got a Dark Kadabra. We got the Boss's Way. That's also a pack artwork you can see on this one. So check that out. The Boss's Way we got. Dark Machoke. Those are the three uncommons. Now we're moving into the commons. Meowth. We got a Goop Gas Attack. We got a Zubat. An Eevee. Grimer. Oddish. Psyduck. Let's finish it strong. Oh, yo, are you serious? We already got a Dark Charizard hit. Let's see what we could do. Dark Kadabra. We got the boss's way. Now, this is an 83 card set. If you see on the bottom there, it says 73 out of 82. That's because there's a secret rare Dark Raichu. Sleep. Now, I feel like the Dark Raichu may be guaranteed once in every box. I'm not totally sure about that, but I feel like every time we've done or I've seen a rocket opening, I've seen the Dark Raichu. Maybe coincidence. Who knows? Slowpoke. Yo, there it is. We got the Gyarados out of the Gyarados bag. If it was just the Uncommons that had that on this pack or what. We got a Dark Persian. A Nightly Garbage Run. There's a Dark Jolteon. Rattata. Coughing. Drowsy. Eevee, we got a Meowth, Goop Gas Attack, Grimer, they corrected this card for English, 
Uh, it used to be the eyes were looking the other way. Now they're looking front and center. And a dark Alakazam hollow hit out of one pack. Let's see what we can do here. We got a dark Rapidash challenge. Dark Electrode. It's not a huge set. You know, it's only 83 cards, but the way they did it with the dark Pokemon, they really just hit the nail on the head with this set. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Dark Dragonite out of one single pack for Anthony T. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. And we got Big Rick Rick's TTV as well. Good to see you here. Thank you so much. We got Challenge. Ooh, creepy pasta. Adam wants to see 10 more Dragonite. Can we make it happen? We have, we've got two so far. One non-hollow and one hollow. We got a Charmander, an Abra, we got the Psyduck, Ekans, we got a Mankey, let's see what we can do, this is for Chris D. Yo, there it is, we keep getting cards back to back, three from the back, alright, we got a Dark Electrode to start it off, a Porygon, Full Heal Energy, there's an Eevee, a Grimer, Sleep, we got Abra, Come on. Can we get that Charizard? So we got a Charmander as the final card before the last one. Can we get another Charizard out of here? Oh, yo, let's go. We got a Dark Doug Trio. Mischievous. Yes. So that was the word they changed it to. So it probably was during the first printings of this because this is, you know, this is the first edition. So that would have been some of the stuff that's been printed first. So maybe it went into some of the Unlimited got Charmander because it was on a long pack which they only come in unlimited it's very interesting stuff to be finding this stuff out 20 years later got a Mankey a Dark Eradicate a Diglett let's even get our first hit for these two yes we can we got a Dark Slowbro what you want to do is you want to grab packs the second that I show the box on the screen there's no preferred you know uh, subscribers and there's nothing like that it's open to everybody at the same exact time that's what I make it I try to be as transparent as possible with everything. And that's one of the things is, uh, you know, nobody knows what we're opening up before the stream starts, not anything like that. As soon as I show that box or that case on the screen, that's when every single person finds out about it. And every single person has a shot at grabbing the packs. Now, I don't know. Some people might have faster internet. They might be really quick with it. Whatever the case is, I would try refreshing as fast as possible. Um, create an account. Create an account in there. Save all your information. Stuff like that. Yo, let's go. We got a Dark Bioplume. The rare at the back looks really good. Dark Persian. Nightly Garbage Run. Got a Dark Jolteon. Slowpoke. Dark Radicate. Mankey. Got a Voltorb. A Diglett. Sleep. Squirtle. And... Oh, Dark Machamp. Let's go. Let's finish it strong. We still want to get that Blastoise. Maybe that Rainbow Energy. I mean, we'll take another Charizard. I know nobody's going to complain if we get another Charizard out of here. Zubat. Charizard was the first hollow we hit out of this box. What's going to be the last? We're going to find out right now. We got an Oddish. And do not leave when I show that last card. Because I'm going to show you what the next box is going to be for next week. And it's really exciting. It's a big one. We haven't done it here yet. We got a Psyduck. That's water. Can we finish it strong? Can we get a Blastoise? Oh, we got a dark gold bat. We finished it on a hollow hit. Let's go. For what we're opening up today, it's going to be a first edition Gym Heroes booster box. I'm seeing the emojis coming in, so let's get the luck going right now. Sabrina Slowbro, Misty Starmie, Erica's Gloom. We got a Fighting Energy, a Rattata, Sabrina's Drowsy. I love this card. Brock's Geodude, we got a Misty's Horsey, a Blaine's Graph, another really good one that I wouldn't be surprised if it was at least 40 bucks in a PSI 10, but check out the centering on that, solid, got a Sand Shrew, one more, and then we're gonna hit the rare, there it is, we got a Rocket Scyther coming in as our first hollow hit out of this box, it took six packs in, Dr. Hopsy in the house, I love seeing all you guys hanging out in the chat, and I love doing these lives, we're over 700 viewers already and we're only like six or seven packs in we got an erica's executor secret mission brock's goal bat and again guys stay till the end of this video i am making the biggest announcement that i have ever made on this channel by far you guys are going to want to be here for it it's such a big announcement that at the end of this video i'm also going to follow it up with a completely other video it's going to upload immediately after this live video it's going to be big, guys. Oh, Erica's Clefable. And hit the link 
But you gotta stay until the end of this video. That's when I announce the next box and it goes live because it's all sold out right now. Ooh, I like this card. Blaine's Kangaskhan. Sabrina's Jinx. We got a Fighting Energy. A Misty's Duel. Blaine's Vulpix. This card is, is a good hit. It's a good hit. I don't know the price. I would have to guess maybe 40 bucks in a PSA 10. That's a very popular Pokemon. Eric is Tangula. Let's get the one pack magic. Oh, there it is. The Rockets. Moltres. He's pulled base unlimited Charizard. He's pulled three Charizards from Flash Fire. So if he pulls something crazy out of here today, I would not be surprised. We got the Haunter. So that's a good, that's good right there to see the Haunter coming in. I'm sure that card as well is worth a decent price in a PSA 10. The Fire. We got an Oddish. This is for Alien, guys. Blow the chat up. We got good hits. So we got the Haunter. We got the Pikachu. Looking really good on the non hollows Can we finish it strong? With, oh, everybody is showing the support right now for Alien in the chat. There it is already on the first pack. Rockets, Hitmonchan. And get one more hollow out of this pack. Watch Alien has some kind of, like, crazy power where... Well, that's a cool... That's Recall. And that is a Slowpoke doing something. Um, watch, he has some kind of power where he can somehow pull two hollows out of one pack or something crazy. I, I would actually, like, be afraid to go to bed at night if that happened. Like, if he did something crazy like that, I would know for a fact that he controls these openings. Another Pikachu. Again, guys, this thing sells in a PSA 10 for 35 to, like, 55 bucks. Misty's Shelter. Zika with the Super Chat. Do you plan on opening a first edition base set box one day? One day, definitely. Like I said, guys, I made a promise to you guys that I want to open up every single, every single set ever by Pokemon. Every main series set. That includes first edition base. I know we're going to get there. Brock Sandshrew. Let's finish it off for the one and only alien. Let's go, guys, right now. Oh, there it is, Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz. But here we go. Misty's Wrath. Mods, let us know how we're looking um, in the stream. If everything is looking okay or if we're lagging out. All right, we got a Fighting Energy. Air Bell Sprout, Lieutenant Surge's Rattata. Come on, Brock's to you, dude. I think we're still lagging, unfortunately. Hopefully it clears up. I'm sorry about that, guys. Blaine's Growlithe. Oh, the Blaine's Moltres coming in, guys. But here we go, guys. It's all about the fun. So if you guys want to join back up, feel free. I apologize. I've never had that happen before. I swear. As soon as Leonhart joined up and we got the Moltres and then Deke and everybody, it, I don't know what happened. I have no idea. But we got Misty's Goldeen. Blaine's Charmander. <laughs> Pokedeek says, sorry about that. I'll keep it small. <laughs> Thank you, Deke. I appreciate you. Lee B. Awesome, we're back. Gengar, last five packs. Let's see if we can make that happen. We left off. We just pulled the Moltres. And we have um, Eric C's packs here. So Brock's Geodude. Oh, Eric is Vileplume. Coming in for Eric C. That is sick. Another hollow pool back to back, guys. We're back at 800. So we got Erica's Maids. We got Pewter City Gym. And we got Vermilion City Gym back to back. Fire Energy. Brock's Geodude. Erica's Bell Sprout. Sabrina's Drowsy. Let's go, guys. Blaine's Growth. Another good hit. A card in a PSA 10 worth probably 40 to 50 bucks or more. Narrow Gym. Misty's Horsey. Let's finish this one off with a hollow. There it is! We got the Misty! This one! Is this one... Hold on a second, guys. Oh, okay. This one's about a couple hundred bucks. A little bit more or less. But that is still a hollow hit. And that is a good one for Linus. So everybody wish Linus good luck. We already started strong. We got the Blaine's Growlithe coming in. The Erica's Exeggutor. Secret Mission. Psychic Energy. We got a Blaine's Ponyta. And Erica's Execute. Blaine's Gamble. We got a Sabrina's Ghastly, a Tenet Surge's Spiro, Misty's Poly. Oh, there it is! We got the Sabrina's Gengar coming in! When, especially when returning subscribers get huge hits like that. And on top of that, the quality, you just can't beat it. I don't know. Like I said, guys, I don't know what it is. If it's Poke Cave standards, if it's you guys here, it, you know, who, whoever, whatever it is, if it's just Alien. I mean, maybe it's just Alien. <laughs> right, guys? Maybe it's just Alien, just a spark sprinkles like the good magic on these cards and makes them all clean and, and uh, getting all the huge hits oh see he, he was listening there it is guys we got the brock subscribe turn on notifications don't want to miss it erica stratini sabrina's haunter and leave a comment right now in the live chat saying you're new and you're gonna be welcomed here to the poker cave by everybody 
Very, oh, that's another good one. Blaine's Vulpix. Rock Zubat. Misty Staryu. Sabrina's Gaze. This is going to be one pack magic for Joseph. Erica's Tangela. Brock's Rhyhorn. And. Oh, we got a Lieutenant Surgeon Magneton. Another one pack magic. This keeps happening, guys. One pack magic. Let's see if we get another one. Oh, we got Brock's Lickitung. That's a cool one. Blaine's Last Resort. Lieutenant Surge's Radicate. A Psychic Energy. Energy Flow. Abra. Gold Eaton, Charmander, that Abra was good, the Charmander is good, if I'm talking good, I just mean value price-wise, right? Erica's Bellsprout, Ratata. oh, we got a Misty's Tentacruel one-pack magic! This is the one-pack magic night where everybody gets one-pack magic! Alright, Erica's Perfume, Sabrina's ESP, Misty's Poliwhirl, we got a Water Energy, a Ratata, a Geodude, Bellsprout, Drowsy, Growlithe, Narrow Gym. Oh, Brock's Rhydon! We got back to back hollows. One pack for Paul. I heard there was a fire. There's something hot in here. We, all I know is we got a call. We got a call on the radio saying that there's something hot around here. So you're going to tell me exactly where it is right now. I know it's in here. It's got to be in here somewhere. What is this? What is this? Is this? Oh, okay. This is it. I'm just going to. Nah, you know what? Nah, you know what? That false alarm. It is hot. It's not quite on fire. But that is hot because I think there's probably some Charizards in there. It's gotta be. Arcanine, there's something in this box because, guys, we're opening up a booster box all the way back from the year 2000. This is a gym challenge booster box. One of the OG sets with the original gym leaders. Guys, let's jump right into this. Okay, I'm gonna try one. One from the back. Is that? Yeah, I think that might be it. Okay, we got a Lightning Energy. Blaine's Doe Duo. Sabrina's Abra, so we didn't mess it up. <laughs> Misty's Horsey. We got a Blaine's Charmander. That is a beautiful card for Charmander. Koga's Ekans. Koga's Grimer. So we're getting some ink uh, splatters on some of these cards. So you get the top there on that one as well. Blaine's Rapidash. Erica's Clefairy, but what I do see is the cards are very well centered. They're looking really clean, which is always a good sign. And we're going to finish it off after this next Sabrina's Jinx. And we got a Misty's Gold Duck. Yo, let's go. This is one of the top three cards. That's a really popular Magic Carp card. Hashtag Pokey Positivity from Mystic Mew. Love that. Misty's Psyduck. We got a Lieutenant Surge's Rattata. Blaine's Volpix. There we go. Giovanni's Meow. That's right. DNC says it best. Everyone deserves to be supported and helped. We are all one great community. Love to see that. Koga's Kakuna. Koga's Ninja Trick. So, this was corrected for English because it was banned in Japanese when they brought it in. They had to change some symbols up. Won't go too deep into that. But let's see what we get after this Brock Scrabbler. We're going to get another Hollow, maybe. Oh, we got it. Koga's Ditto. Nice. Somebody said Brock for the win. Blaine. Brock. Oh, we got some people saying Brock, too. S Misty Staryu. Brock Stiglet. Koga Zubat. Giovanni's Nidoran. Erica's Paris. Transparent Walls. We got Erica's Bellsprout. I like this card for a Bellsprout. Giovanni's Machoke. We got a Koga's Golbat. And we got a Blaine. Yo. All right. So we got a hollow out of one pack magic here. Luckily, Pokemon is still going strong nowadays. Lightning Energy. Poke Beast is in the house. Thanks for another opening, Rev. Congrats on almost 21k subs as well. Much deserved, brother. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's just crazy to even think that those numbers are even possible here, but it's all because of you guys. Saffron City Gym. Lane's quiz number three. Let's see if we can finish it strong after this. Koga's Kakuna. It's got the B drill. So is that B drill? Picking up the Kakuna, or is it like kind of evolving into it? Is the question. I think it might be picking it up. Yo, Erica's Venusaur! That is another huge hit! We should hopefully pick back up. I'm gonna keep it rolling because this is all being recorded anyway. So if it is lagging, definitely on the recap, we'll be able to see everything here. Misty's Magikarp. This Magikarp is really awesome. Blaine's Growlithe. Yo, Mother Zard says, let's get the Blaine Zard next. We got a Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu, Sabrina's Hypno, Giovanni's Meowth, 
Brock's Graveler. We got a Rockets Zapdos. That's my guess. I'm going to go with that. Water Energy started off. Misty's Horsey. Blaine's Doe Duo. Sabrina's Drowsy. Erica's Oddish. Koga's Grimer. Misty's Magikarp. I love that fish. Erica's Clefairy. Blaine's Rapidash. Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. We are 2 for 2. The Thunderbolts are coming out strong here. Hey, Psyduckling says, Pokerev, you pulled the fire for me yet again. Thank you. Hey, well, thank you for participating. Koga's Pidgey. Erica's Jigglypuff. Blaine's Ponyta. Sometimes I have a fla I have flashbacks when I see Pokemon, like Jigglypuff. I just instantly start thinking of some of those episodes. Oh, this is cool. Giovanni's Magikarp. This is the other Magikarp in this set. Really awesome. And the Psyduck. We saw a different Psyduck as well. Lieutenant Surge's Raticate. Sabrina's Kadabra. And Erica's Venusaur. These are really nice uncommons. And we finish it off with the Giovanni's Machamp. Let's go. There it is, guys. Bring in the luck. We got Blaine's Ponyta. Sabrina's Abra. Giovanni's Magikarp. I think Giovanni needs the Zoss. Misty's Tears. Lieutenant Surge's Electrode. And... Oh, we got a Brock's Ninetales. Let's go. We're getting out the hollows from this box. Back to back. Boom. We got Water Energy. Blaine's Volpix. Brock's Diglett. We got a Giovanni's Meowth. We got a Misty Staryu. Warp Point. Sabrina's Ghastly. Or Ghastly. Use a City Gym. Erica's Ivysaur. So we had the Bulbasaur. We got the Ivysaur. And... Yo, there it is, the Giovanni's version. This is another one of, that's a huge hit. We got a lightning energy. There it is, yo. See, that's what I'm talking about. Mr. Narmander started off with a Charmander. Right off, I mean, that, that, that doesn't, that's just what it is. Sabrina's Abra, Furbord. Got Koga's Ekans, Misty's Horsey, Blaine's Doe Duo, Eric his Bulbasaur, Blaine's Doe Drio. Okay. And... Lieutenant Surge's Electrode. We're going to finish it off. Can we get the Charizard? Can we do it? Oh, I'll take that, though. We got a Giovanni's Gyarados. All right. We got a Fighting Energy. Koga's Pidgey. Erica's Jigglypuff. We got a Blaine's Ponytail. We're over 1,000 live viewers right now in the Poke Cave. Welcome, everybody that's just joining up to this live opening of the Gym Challenge Booster Box. All the way back from the year 2000. This is a really awesome set. You got Gym Leaders that own the Pokemon. They're coming out here. Is that a rare? Okay, it's not the rare. But that is the rare! Are you serious right now? We just got two Gyarados back to back. And it is the other one that I was just talking about. Misty's Golduck. Let's... Oh, Golduck. <laughs> Misty's Gyarados. Let's go. Of this opening, where you'll have a chance to grab packs at thepokecave.com. Once I show it on the screen, that's when it will be available for purchase. Nothing's there right now. But it will be at the end of this. If you stay till the very end. And we're going to do hashtag start to finish... If you're here from start to finish, I appreciate you. Ar uh, <laughs> Erica's Clefairy. And we got a Giovanni's Nido King. Let's go. Is this an air box? Is this an air box? Because we're getting a lot of hollows. And I've have, I have stopped keeping track a while ago. And I feel like we have a lot of hollows. Like, they just keep coming out of here. You're here for some history. Because we're going to be opening up, guys. This is going to be crazy. A first edition. Neo Genesis booster box. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep my hands from shaking here. But I... Like, this set is just... Bayleaf to start it off. Everybody put their guesses in. We got two, one, three, two, two, three. Somebody said four. That'd be some alien luck right there. Apon. Swinub. Cyndaquil. Another awesome hit there. Oh, I love that artwork. So there's two different artworks for each of the starters and their evolutions. And every evolution in the evolution line. So literally, like, so many starter Pokemon that you can get out of here. It's crazy. Moomoo Milk. Got our Grass Energy. Come on, guys. Let's get our first holo hit. Yes! We got a huge one. Slow King is the first holo hit out of this Neo Genesis box. Started off with Quill Lava. I want to see that Lugia. I want to see that Typhlosion for Alligator. Meganium. Come on. Moo Moo Milk. Changed it for the English version. Chikorita. We got a Mantine. Slowpoke. Drooling. I don't know if he wants the apples or what. Water energy. Here we go, guys. Final. Final. 
card. Yo, we got an Azumarill hit out of the second pack for Rhyme Style. Let's go. All right, guys. We got the Electabuzz to start it off. Card flip game. Pilo Swine. Cyndaquil. Stantler. Guys, there's still probably, hopefully, a Typhlosion T17 in here. A Lugia. If you guys are just joining up, the PSA 10s of those are $15,000 plus each. That's why I'm saying this is one of the biggest, if not the second biggest set we've ever opened here in the Poke Cave. Let's go. We got an Ampharos. Well, welcome, welcome. Any age, you can play with Pokemon cards. That's all I say all day. When, when somebody says, why are you opening up Pokemon cards? Why do you like Pokemon? I just do. We got Goldberry. We got Moo Moo Milk. Giraffe Rig. Chica. We got a Mantine. Slowpoke. Pikachu. What's our energy going to be? Psychic. That's some alien psychic energy. That means something's going to be back there. I'm making a prediction. My psychic eye sees a Lugia back there. Oh, that scared me so bad. We got a hollow hit, though. That is a Togetic. Hollow number four. You can't even really put a price on them. Noctail. Gloom. So, that's very interesting. We get the three cards a lot of times where it's the uncommons, and they're all three of them we haven't hit before. Ladyba and Hoot Hoot. So it goes with the Noctail. Not bad. All right. Chikorita and Totodile. Snubble. Is anyone's favorite Pokemon Snubble? Let me know in the live chat. I got to know. Grass Energy. Come on. Oh, we got the Kingdra. Another hollow hit. Let's go. We got a Skip Loom. Furret. And Bill's Teleporter. Are the three uncommons. Spinarak. Sunkern. Double Gust. We got a Shuckle. Interesting Pokemon. Cyndaquil. An Onix. I do like this Onix. Just chilling in a cave. Reminds me of the Poke Cave. Fire Energy. Come on, I want to see that Lugia and Typhlosion. Let's get it. Oh, we got a Feraligator out of the Feraligator pack. What are the odds of that? Gloom to start it off. Always grueling. Gloom. And always sleeping. Sunfloor. Seedra. We got a Super Ride. Sudowoodo. Always blocking the way. Hopip. Sentry. Gliger. We got a Natsu. I feel like we haven't had a Natsu yet. Come on. I want that Lugia. Oh, that's a really good hit. The Metal Energy. That's a really good Togepi artwork. It's in like a tree. Flaffy. Got a Mil Tank. Ooh. Machilo says next pack is Lugia. Let's see if that's going to be it. Got a Mantine. Pikachu, another good hit. Slowpoke. Whoop, whoop. Totodile. Sunkern. Fighting Energy. Oh, we got a Jump Bluff out of one pack, guys. We keep getting that one pack magic. Let's go. And here we go, guys. We still got plenty of chances to make this happen. Got a Club Fairy. Ladeon. Zatu. We got a Sunkern. A Spinarak. Totodile and Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil back to back. A Shuckle. Got that Psychic Energy, the all-knowing Psychic Energy. That's the alien. And alien, you are here in the chat right now. Can you sprinkle down some luck? Let's get it. Come on. We're ready. We're ready. Oh, we got the Pichu, though. I will take that. A huge hit. Yes. Miracle Berry to start it off. Got a Quagsire. Togepi. Can anybody do that Togepi voice? Super Rod. Pseudo Wudo. These cards bring back so much, so many memories. I mean, Pseudo Wudo, Togepi. It's like, ooh, fighting energy. Come on. Oh! <laughs> and we got the Skip Loom. We got Furret. Bill's Teleporter. Totodile. We got Horsey. We got Berry. Pokemon March. Snubble. Fighting energy. Oh, and the Skarmory. Let's go. Lugia, where are you? We got a Gramble. Togepi. We have to Quagsire. Hoot Hoot. Chincho. Chikorita. Totodile. These are all good hits. Like, again, starters. 80, like $75, $80. PSA 10. Totodile, you got Chikorita. I mean, it's crazy. And then the non-hollow rares, again, I have no idea, but they're definitely worth it. Lugia, has anybody got the Lugia song? Yo, <laughs> let's go! 
What is going on guys? My name is PokeRev and welcome to the Poke Cave. Guys, tonight we have a huge, huge opening. We're opening a booster box that's worth over $7,000 all the way back from the year 2001. I'm talking about the one and only Neo Discovery and it's in first edition. I'm gonna go with none. It's gotta be the last one, right? Yeah. Hopip, Caterpie, Dunsparce, yeah, I probably could have just not did the pack trick and then saw where it was in there, but, you know. Pineco, again, guys, this set is worth, like, over $7,000. So, come on, let's get a hollow out of here for Matthew. So far, you have two non-hollows, a fossil egg. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Really nice set. Unknown M. Trainer Trey coming in clutch. Zero from the back. Kakuda, you guys help me out on the spot there. I really appreciate it. And we got, yes, we got a Houndor first edition holo card coming in for Matthew. I'll probably forget again. Poliwag, we got a Caterpie. Here we go. And not to Teddy Ursa, Ammonite, Whooper, Full Moon tonight. Fitting if you pull the Umbreon. Ooh, it says Blue Moon. Okay, Full Moon tonight. Did not know that. Unknown O, another unknown. Metapod. We got the Eevee. I love this artwork. That's a nice one for Eevee there. Hand drawn. Can't beat it. We got an Amistar. Oh, we got a Scissor Hollow. Another one back to back. That one could work. I'm going in again for the pack trick. Okay. Dunsparce. Energy Arc. Unknown. Spinarak. Pineco. We got a Mareep. We got a Tyrogue. TCG Revival. We got two Hollows so far. Um, Scizor. And... We got, um, Hound, Houndor, yeah. We got another D! What does that smell? Deke! Ah, we got a Magnemite Hollow, yes! Next pack around. Here we go. Unknown O! I don't think we pulled that one yet. We got a Teddy Ursa. We got the Whooper. Yes, here we go. You guys are coming in clutch with all the good luck. We got the Hoppip. Let's go. I want to see some huge cards out of this box. Coming up, Pupitar. Unknown U. There we go! We got a Hip on Top Hollow coming in strong as the last pack magic for nick all right here we go no pack trick jonathan we still have eight potentially eight it doesn't it doesn't mean there's gonna be exactly eight but there should be roughly eight hollows left in this box so here we go spinner arc polywag kakuna unknown n scyther oh we got the espion yes you're either not gonna find many or the ones that you do they're gonna be worth a good amount, especially the popular Pokemon. Dunsparce, I don't know if this is the most popular Pokemon out there, but hey, there's definitely good ones in here. Mareep, Spinarak, got an Energy Arc. We got the Natsu, come on. Scyther, let's go. Corsola, last pack, magic, coming in for Jonathan. Let's make it happen, an unknown M. Let's go. Oh yes, we got a Polyrath. Hollow coming in again, and another one that I can already tell you guys right now is centered phenomenally. So here we go, Larvitar, we got a Sentret, an unknown E, we got the Hoppip, another unknown, Energy Arc, Pinecoat, and again, this is for Luke, come on guys, can we get another Hollow out of here? Ruin Wall, let's get a huge hit right now, everybody, let's go, blow up the chat. Oh, an unknown. I called it. How did I call last card twice? I only have it once a video. Oh, we got the Politoed. Oh, yo. One of the best hits. Gamer Mania, you did give the Politoed luck. This one is a really good one to get out of here because there's only 24 of these that exist in a PSA 10. Here we go. Mareep. Tyrogue. Spinarak. We still need. We still need Tyranitar. We need the Yanma. The Yanma is probably the biggest card in the set, without a doubt. Uh, Caterpie, just because there's only 12 of them that exist in a PSA 10, that's going to drive the, the value up tremendously. Super hard to grade, but can we put it on this box? Because this box, you guys have seen the hollows. They look really good. Oh, we got the Tyranitar! Yes! Another huge hit! I mean, I'm sure people love, there's definitely people that love Yanma, but it's definitely not one of the top runners for most popular Pokemon. Not too, but because of how hard it is to get, drives the value up. So we got a Caterpie, a Poliwag, we got an Unknown, Hyper, the evolution spray, another unknown. We got the Hound Door, and then we have. Oh, we got the Smeargle! Another huge hit out of here! One of the best! Any of the mods in the house know how many hollows we pulled out of here? Let me know, or anybody in the chat. 
just so I can keep track. So there should be around three more hollows left in this box, which is still really good odds for everybody that's left in here. Pineco, unknown. Here we go. Dunsparce, Polyworld, Ruin Wall, unknown. And what are we going to get? Oh, we got a Ursarag. But all right, come on. Let's go, guys. We got a Natsu. We got an Ammonite. We're still looking for the Yanma. That is the biggest hit in this box. And an Umbreon would be pretty nice. Larvitar. Fossil Egg. And now remember, guys, you can double up on Hollows, which is actually a really, really awesome for this set. Because you could get... Oh, we got the Kabutops Hollow coming in as well. A YouTube legend, a good friend of mine, Gemmit Pokemon with the Super Chat. If Zach is bringing the luck, that can only mean one thing, that the Yanma is coming in here. So here we go. We got luck from Gen Mint Pokemon, the one and only on YouTube. Here we go, an OG that helped me get back into the game. So I appreciate all the work you've done, Zach. So here we go, Zatsu. I want to see the Yanma. I'll take the Umbreon. We got an Igglypuff. We got an Unknown, and here it comes. Come on, Deke, let's go. Oh, we got the Umbreon, yes! Guys, today we have a huge opening. It's going to be awesome. We're going in on something all the way back from the year 2001. It's almost 20 years old. I'm talking about Neo Revelation first pack opening up. Should be three from the back. That's right. I did my research a little bit for this, so I didn't forget the pack trick. We have to start it off seeking. So you can see here, this is the unlimited version. So there's no first edition stamp there, but it is still insane. I mean, the cards in here, if you want to find these in a PSA 10, good luck. That's what I'll say. Good luck. Golbat. And first off, you can tell right away the centering on these non hollows are spot on. Oh, these are looking really nice, guys. Woo! Let's go, guys! I am pumped! We got a Goldeen, a Slugma, a Quagsire. We got a Swinub, a Farfetch'd. We got the Apom. We got a Houndoom out of the first pack! I wasn't even expecting that! We already have the Poke Cave luck. Everything else from here is just gravy, guys. Team Rocket's hideout. We got a Seeking, Lantern, Quillfish. We got a Skip Loom. Geodude, Geodude, Unknown, K, Remoraid, Quagsire, we got a Snubble, and we got an Ampharos, yo, let's go, this is one of the best cards, Alien, come on, we're ready for our third hollow hit here, we got a Parasect, Unknown, B, Pokemon Breeder Fields, that for a trainer card is insane, you got Dragonite back there, Quillfish, Skiploom, Geodude, Unknown K, Remoraid, Quagsire, come on alien, what are you waiting for? That's what I'm talking about, let's go, keep leaving me hanging. Oh, yo, we got the Celebi. Smaller than that are Jungle and Fossil, so it's a, it's a small, look at that Gengar. Oh, even the trainer cards are like amazing. Graveler, we got a Staryu, Skiploom, Geodude, Goldeen, we got a Remoraid, Snubble. Zubat. Oh, let's go, yo! Woo! Everybody in the chat has your back. We all have your back here at the Poke Cave. Pokemon Breeder Fields. Patasect. We got a Shuckle. A Staryu. Skiploom. We got a Geodude. Goldeen. Remoraid. Snubble. You got this. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me right now? Alien just pulled the rarest hollow card that you can get out of this set! It is a blissy! Coming out of this Neo Revelation booster box. Ooh, and I'm sorry guys if I'm missing the chat. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me here. This is like one of those sets where I just am laser focused on what's happening right now. Quillfish. Cool Gotta be very careful. Murkrow. I, like, I, every single time we get to the rare. Woo! All right! I gotta sleeve this. We got a jump up. Not the most popular Pokemon, but it is a hollow. A beautiful hollow at that. Oh, jump off, jumping everywhere. There's a snowman in the back. This is like a winter. Oh my gosh. This one looks beautiful. Let's get the Zoss. Let's see. I don't know if you got a phone home or phone your family. But whatever you got to do, we're ready to get another hollow hit. We haven't hit a Shining. Hopefully we can get a Shining out of this set. Would be crazy. Swinum. Just, I can't even right now. 
Woo! Yo! Uh, hashtag everyone be safe. That is awesome. Free aliens. That's just like free alien luck for, for everybody then. <laughs> Swinub. Hopefully everybody's staying safe. And that's one of the reasons why we started doing these live streams is because of everything that's going on in the world and everybody just, you know, wanting to stay safe and stay inside. Whoa! Let's go! We got a Porygon too! We got the Graveler. We got a Flaffy. Rocket's hideout with the Gengar. Quillfish. Oh no! We need a little Zoss! Come on, let's spice this up! What are you doing over here? Come on, alien! We gotta get this! Where's our Shining Gyarados? Where's our Shining Magikarp? And our other legendary beasts? Are they within this? Yo, let's go! That's what I'm talking about! You literally just brought the spice! I gotta get this in a sleeve before I freak out. This is my favorite card of all time. Let's get that error pack. Magic. Bloomberry. Unknown B. We got a Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Remoraid. Quagsire. Swinub. Apom. Mistreamus, let's go! We got another holo hit! Yes! Graveler. We got the Flaffy. Rocket's Hideout, Quagsire. Can't complain with any of the hollows that we got out of here. All beautiful. All the cards in general, even the non hollows. Beyond awesome. Deli Bird coming in as another hollow hit out of here. Yo, check that dude out. Final countdown. We got a Graveler. Rocket's Hideout. We got a Flaffy. We got a Remory. Come on, guys. We need all the luck right now. Quagsire. We got a Swinub. We got an Apom. Butterfetched. Pattis. Final countdown. Yo, let's go! Shiny Magic Card out of the list, man! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh. Guys, today is going to be a big one. Cameron, I see you. What is going on? We are jumping into one of the rarest, most expensive sets. I would put this one in the top three biggest sets that Pokemon has ever done. So guys, check it out. We're going to be opening up the one and only. It's going to be, guys, Neo Destiny Unlimited Booster Box in here. You can pull out, potentially, the Shining Charizard. Guys, there are so many crazy cards in here. Um, there are eight Shinings total. So this is a huge set. This is why this is one of the most popular sets. Not only that, but the Hollows inside of here are crazy. I promise you guys, I, I forget every time. So, uh... I don't know what it is. I'm going to go with... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. So this is for Matthew C. All right, guys. Yes. We got the Venonat. We got Seal. We got Execute. Gliger. Sunkern. Can we get first pack and one pack magic? Look at that Toto Dial just sitting there in the rain. Drawn back in the day. And I can tell you guys right now... I'm seeing how these cards are looking. They're centered really well. The quality is looking really good on these. We got a Mantine. Oh, there it is. The Light Arcanine out of the first pack. Uh, that's like the big, big one, right? You can get Shining Celebi. Uh, you can get Shining Kabutops. Um, you can get Shining... What else is in here? Raichu, Steelix, and Tyranitar, and Noctail, and Mewtwo. So, like I said, guys, there's a lot of Shinies. There's eight different shining cards. I want to know which one you think we're going to pull out of this box. We got a Slugma, a Ladybug, Light Sunflora, Swinub coming up. Oh, there it is. We got the shining Charizard already, guys. There is sets that we definitely need like Aquapolis um, and some of the, you know, the difficult uh, sets to find out there. Now, I do have an Aquapolis booster box, but it's a matter of do I want to open it up or not? Um, I might need to find another one. Houndor, we got a light Wigglytuff, and that is that is a beautiful artwork there. In the field with all the flowers, you got Caterpie just, like, sitting in the grass. That Hound Door is really nice as well. These artworks, guys, I mean, come on. Like, I got to show you this one again, because look at this. Light Wigglytuff, right? Can you guys, like, just appreciate the hand-drawn artwork in this, this... Like, how long do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. How long do you guys think this took to draw and just create this artwork? Like, that is just beautiful. There are no computers involved with that one. That is just someone sitting there um, and just taking the time to do the artworks. Venonat. We got a Seal. An Execute. Gliger. Sunkern. Coming up on the final hit. Let's see if we can get a Hollow out of here. 
There it is, another huge hit. Dark for Alligator, one of the OG starters. Let's get double egg magic, guys. Let's get two egg emojis in the chat for good luck for Praniv. So here we go, Dark Fortress, Dark Executor, Dark Wigglytuff. We got a heal powder. Oh, the Totodile in the rain, just chilling, drinking the rain. Seal, Execute, Venonat, Pinecone, Pineco, I should say. There we go, another shining back to back. We already got two out of this box, guys. That is the Poke Cave luck, as well as you guys in the chat bringing the egg luck. Can I say any more? Every time you guys bring the emoji luck in here, we always get it, and it just never ceases to amaze me. A shining Kabutops as a shining. Whoa, did I not do the pack? Wait. Oh, I totally. Did I do two from the back? What the? No way! Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Guys, what just happened? Somebody, somebody in the chat, help me out right now. We just got a shining Kabutops and a dark Typhlosion back to back in the same pack. Dark Typhlosion and shining Kabutops back to back. Let's keep it going. Austin with the super chat. This is crazy. Yeah. I mean, either way, it's a crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed either way. Unknown C, Remoraid, Unknown L. So we got, um, I'm already losing count here. We're pulling so much fire. We're not, I think we're maybe a quarter of the way through the box now. I'm kind of getting nervous of what's going to happen. Oh, the dark pour he got too. This box is loaded. I had to double check to see if there's anything back there. I, I, I'm really curious if we're going to get another error pack out of here. Light Slowbro, Scyther. Could you imagine if that Charizard Shining that we pulled um, had an error as well? That would be ridiculous which it already was ridiculous with that shining dark Gengar is another hollow pool out here this box is officially loaded we got an unknown p oh we're so close to a thousand guys let's get the chat rolling get every single emoji good luck going right now let's see if we can smash a thousand already not even halfway through that'll be a new record if we can hit it before we get halfway through this box lights on floor swin up we got a ghastly a machop let's go guys there it is another shiny card shining Mewtwo coming in as number three. That is so sick. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is awesome. I think we've only hit a thousand like maybe once or or maybe two times. Yeah. Scyther. This is awesome, guys. Here we go. Growlithe. Remoraid. Let's go. We got a Mareep. We got a Dark Octillery. A Psyduck. It looks kind of like it's like a clay version of Psyduck. Are you serious right now? This is officially an error box from the another planet. We just got four shinings out of one box. I do not think this is even possible. We make the impossible happen here in the Poke Cave right now. Guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just feel like every night we just do something incredible that's like never been done before. I don't even think I, this is even possible. We got four Shinings. Another Shining Mewtwo out of this box. I'm losing my mind right now. I need a... Uh... It's an error pack! It's an error pack! Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? It's an error pack! There's something behind it. There's something behind it. There's something behind it. Oh my... <laughs> Gosh, what is going on right now? We just got a double pack magic error pack again. Let's go. Something happened here tonight that never has been done before. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm a, fr I, I like, I, li I just, this means right now that there is possibly no limit to how many hollows or shinings we can get out of this box because they were just throwing them in here. They're like, oh, here we go. Shining, shining. We'll just throw it in there in the uncommon spot. Mareep. Uh... Oh, we got the dark scissor, scissor coming in again. Wait, train and train is the pools. I can see it. Uh, One, light, dark, canine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we got nine, ten. And we're, we're, we're barely just scraping into halfway through this opening, guys. A dark scissor. Hollow guard looking super clean. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. A beautiful, beautiful card right here. Oh, my gosh. Light Dugong. We got a Chansey, so we haven't seen this one yet. That's a pretty cool card. Unknown C. Heal Powder. Volpix. Execute. Seal. Venonat. We got a Totodile. A Sunkern. A Dark Crobat! Oh, man, what is going on? 
Guys, I don't know if we're gonna hit like tw something crazy like 20 hollows. If we already had two error packs, that means that we might possibly be able to get more than that. So let's go, guys. I wanna see everything right now in the chat. Guys, light the chat up with the emojis. We need the luck right now. Let's get it. Mail from Bill. There it is, a light token tick. We officially are over the count, I believe. We got the light Flareon. Oh, the light Jolteon. He's already starting off strong with two, two of the best uncommon cards in the set. Let's see if we can get a Vaporeon back there. Hey, an unknown V. Okay, he's, he's bringing in the mysterious unknowns. We got a Dratini. Heal Powder. Can we make it happen? Can we get another third error pack? Out of this Neo Destiny box from the one and only Alien. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, Dark Day 5! Wait, wait, wait. We got an error. We got an error. We got an error. There's something behind there. Unless I forgot to do the card trick. And I'm just... Either way. Either way, we got a Dark Dawn fan. Oh, my gosh. Yo, let's get it right now. Let's get it right now. Oh, what happened? I messed the card trick up, man. I want to see it. Light Venomoth. Energy Stadium. Do not lose hope, guys. We're making it happen. Him on Chan. Psyduck. We defy all odds in the Poke, Poke Cave. We defy all logic. Let's get it right now. There it is. I told you guys. We make it happen here in the Poke Cave. We're going in on a legendary collection booster box. This is going to be an insane opening. We're going in on 36 booster packs now. If you guys know, in this set, every single booster pack is going to have a reverse fireworks pattern for hollow card so every single pack is gonna have at least one hit i saw some glowing and i wasn't sure what it was but it ended up being the charizard box topper one of four different box toppers you can get in here this is what i'm talking about we haven't even opened a pack yet and we're already pulling the fire out of here and it is it i don't think there's a pack trick to these i forget i always forget i never check i always forget to check but here we go we're gonna start it off with charmeleon just to get the fire sparked a little bit. We got the Charmeleon. See, these are the first two cards. Charizard and Charmeleon. Are you serious right now? Charmeleon, Charmander, and Charizard. If this is going to be a fire opening, this is going to be a sign that's going to tell us that it's going to be a fire opening right here. So this set in particular is going to stick with the themes in each pack. So there's going to be duplicate cards in packs. So you might see more Charmanders or more Charmeleons in this because these, this set was aimed towards the players to build decks. So we see we have another Ponyta. We have a Vulpix. And I'm taking this a little bit slow, guys, because this set is insane. We got an Energy Retrieval. We got a Vulpix. Woo, guys. An Eevee. Now, the popular Pokemon, all of these non hollows I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm going to tell you Alien... All these non hollows are such popular Pokemon that you can easily, they can easily be valued in a PSA 10, 30 to 50, even more dollars than that, or even a higher price than that. This Eevee, especially the Charmander, Charmander. I mean, all these are really popular. I think we're gonna hit our first reverse if I did this correctly. Oh, it is a Hypno non hollow. So the reverse is the last card. So this doesn't have a hollow, but that doesn't mean it's over because this is legendary collection. Everything, every single pack is gonna be fired. So, Alien. I wish you luck, my friend. Maybe this will be the one that has the reverse Charizard. Oh, it's a Bulbasaur, though. That is still a really awesome card. I mean, it's still basically a pack trick. It'll just be the hollow and then the reverse, which the reverse could be just as good, if not better, than a hollow pool. We're starting with an Atomite. Ammonite. <laughs> Ammonite. Mysterious Fossil. Back to back. Some people over the years have thought that some of these packs when they purchased them were um, like repackaged or something, but they're not. This is how they are. Like they have a theme to them. See the Mysterious Fossil, if you're building a deck, it goes really well with it. Uh, we got the Fighting Pokemon, Geodude, Raveler. I know a lot of people like to get the theme for the water, the fire, because you can get the Blastoise, Charmander. So this is from Rocket. Let's see if we can, oh, we got a Gengar, another huge hit. It is, this is gonna be a double pack magic. I am officially gonna say it right now. I'm gonna lose my voice, possibly my mind in this opening. This is going to be a double pack for Robert P, who also has two more packs after this. So let's go, guys. Let's get the emojis. The good luck going. Gengar. I'm scared what's behind here. I'm going to tell you guys that Gengar is definitely one of the more tough ones to get. If you can get this in a PSA 10, you're talking $700 plus just for the hollow. Now, we're going to look behind here. First, let's see if there's any hollow scratches or anything. Do we have anything on here? It's hard to see. I think I see a little line. 
Is that it next to him? On the, yeah, a tiny one going down the left side. You can see it right there. But it's not bad. The centering is pretty good. We're going to see what the next card is. Come on. The boss's way. Is that all? That So check out that picture. You guys tell me if that looks normal to you. So we got the boss's way, but if you look, there's white around. And there's like a little... I don't want to touch it. I think that might be a little dust or something on the, that part right there. It has every single pack is going to be a hit. Guys, you can't beat that. And it's some of these hits are going to be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So this is the Ratata theme. We got Ratata, Raticate, Ratata, Bulbasaur. So that is a good one. So we're going with the grass and Ivysaur. That's what I'm talking about. These non hollows as well. And another Bulbasaur. I could see this card going for at least 40 bucks in a PSA 10 all day. Caterpie. Metapod, Metapod, Metapod. We got Kabootsops, non hollow. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Hitmon Lee kicking his way in. I'm gonna always try to do this kick. Yeah, that's my kick for Hitmon Lee. It's like 80% of the hollows in this set are huge. I gotta, keep, I gotta remember not to do the pack trick. So we got another one with the mysterious fossils. Demos Gaming is in the house. Let's pull that firework Blastoise. This is so awesome. Thanks, Rev and Mods. Thank you guys so much, and thank you, Demos Gaming, to things for always hanging out in the Poke Cave. That's the one thing. I like the Poke Cave to be a place where everybody can come and hang out, no matter who you are, where you're from. It doesn't matter. You're always welcome in the Poke Cave. It's a positive place. No negativity here whatsoever. The mods keep it clean, and you guys are always out there helping one another out. Pokemon Trader, I believe. That is the rare. So we got one more big reverse coming up in this last pack for Robert. Let's make it count. Oh, we got a rare reverse. It is the Machamp. How beautiful is that? This is originally from base set. A beautiful looking card in reverse hollow form. It is a rare. The Mewtwo is actually was originally a dark, uh, Black Star promo. It is the only other card in the set that is not from those four sets. The boss's way. So it's cool that they threw that in there. The Mewtwo is another awesome artwork. Um, they had to throw it in. I bet they were sitting there thinking like, wow, we need a Mewtwo artwork. We got to throw him in from uh, from Black Star promo, Pikachu. That's one in a reverse. Is I don't know what the price is. I'm just gonna say I can't I can't tell you guys the price on all these because it's gonna take me forever to look through this list, which I completely appreciate being there to look over if I can see some of the prices. Another Pikachu, because Pikachu is a huge, hugely popular Pokemon as everybody knows. Cedra, Voltorb. We got a Bill. Come on. Nido King non hollow for Josh W, but it ain't over. Like I always say, it ain't over till Rev sings. And Rev didn't sing yet because this pack still has another hit. Raticate is the reverse. Here we go. Drowsy starting it off. We got a Ghastly. I kind of like not having to do the pack trick. Haunter is a uncommon. Oh, okay. So they were like, ah, you know what? We'll throw him in as an uncommon. No biggie. So it was kind of it was kind of weird that they did have him as a rare in fossil since they had Gengar as well. So I guess maybe that's the way they see it. Ghastly, a common, Haunter, an uncommon. So I guess it makes sense. But Haunter was such a cool Pokemon from the anime that I think that's probably why they threw it in as a, um, a rare. So we got Slowpoke back to back. Dratini, that's another really nice hit. Dark Dragonair. This one also is uncommon in this set. A beautiful card. Dratini, Dragonair. Maybe we'll get Dragonite in here. That you can get as a reverse. And Zapdos is the holo. So this one is going to be a two pack. Magic hit. I love it. This is absolutely insane. We got the Zapdos as a hollow, as the first hit. Now there's going to be a second hit. You guys ready for round two? It could be a Charizard. It could be way better than even what we got here, which is already insane. Let's check that hollow real quick. Very, very nice. A beautiful card. Centering is beautiful. Let's see what we get. Oh, we have a full heal energy. That's just like a little extra bonus. Okay, I will sign the savers. I'm not sure. Um, it's hard to read that full thing, but... Oh, yes. I got you, Robert P. Thank you again, and congratulations on the hits out of your three packs. I mean, that was awesome. You had some really nice hits in there. So here we go. Zachary M. Let's see what we can do in here. Can we get the Charizard? So we can get Charizard multiple times in this set. I mean, there's Dark Blasters. There's just Raichu. There's everything. Nicholas Light TV is in the house. We're back in the boat cave. Time to pull some gems. Thank you so much for being here again, Nicholas. Always cool to see you. The Nidorans, Nidorina... Nidoran, we got a bill. We're looking for 
We're, we're, I'm not gonna lie, we're looking for everything. There's so many things to pull out of here, it's ridiculous. Grimer, execute. Jinx, uncommon. Oh no, it's a rare, I'm sorry. That is the rare, the Jinx. We're gonna finish it with. Ponyta, oh! <laughs> my heart skipped a beat, I don't know about you guys, but every time I see red, my heart skips a beat. Um, we do that every time for new viewers. I always like to welcome, um, you know, new new people here in the Poke Cave. And if you're not subscribed, you're gonna to want to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you'll get notified when we go live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we open vintage Pokemon booster boxes. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh, what is that? I saw CH. I saw CH. Is that gonna be a Charizard? Oh gosh! Butterfree. Okay. Oh, it's Charmeleon, so close, but still a really good hit. Did you guys see that? Oh, my stomach sank again. Two back-to-back -back on the red color. And we have multiple shots at Charizards, at Venusaurs, at Blastoise. At, uh, it's just ridiculous. Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirtle! Squirtle Squad is going to show up. Watch. Watch this. We got one Squirtle. We got a Dark War Turtle. That's from Rocket. That other one was from base. The Pidgey was from base. Squirtle! Squirtle, Squirt! We got two Squirtles. Let's get the squad. Tentacool. Come on, Squirtle Squad. Tentacruel. Okay. Tentacool. Can I get one more Squirtle? Potion. Okay, so now we're going to come up on the either hollow or rare non-hollow. Ammonite. I made it up. Got to call last card at least once. Now we're coming up on it. I promise. Electrode. Non-hollow rare. That's okay because we get another shot here. It's like, it's okay. You get another shot. And the second shot, you always get something. Spiro is the reverse. We're going at a, a a little bit of a slower pace here, just because this is something that you never see opened up, and you got to take it in and enjoy every second of it. Do Duo, Do Drio, Pidgey, not the most popular. Okay, we got a Growlithe though, so we do have Fire Potion. Again, these are were made for deck building, so you'll see duplicate you'll see duplicate cards. Ooh, that scared me. We got a Charmander, and that's a good hit for a non-hollow. I mean, I can't imagine what that would go for in a PSA 10, but it's got to be something. Right, Alien? Okay. He agrees. Needle Queen, non hollow rare. We're going to get us the reverse. Ratata! Whoa, okay. So, if I can get this pack. There we go. Ah, that, sometimes they don't want to. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, no pack trick. No pack trick. Got to remember that. Okay. We got him a choke. We got a Machop. So we're going to have Machoke, Machop, Mankey, Primeape. So you get the evolution of them. We got Poke Pat in the house. Diane M. Pika Spark. Steve F. Michael P. What's going on? Arceus Almighty is here. Is that blessing the packs. Woo. All right. Bless these packs. Let's get a Charizard out of this one. What do you guys think? Can we do it for John G? Can we get the Charizard? And it doesn't matter. Could you guys imagine? Hold on a second. Stop. Stop for a second. Could you guys imagine if we get a pack? We get the Charizard Hollow. Then behind that, we get the Reverse Charizard. Now, I don't even know what a Charizard Hollow is worth in a PSA 10. I think it's got to be between seven, eight, nine, maybe even ten thousand dollars. The Reverse is like four to five thousand. Could you imagine if you had those back to back in a in a pack? It would be the the best possible combination that you could get. Oh, Nine Tails! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yo, Nine Tails Hollow, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, but. Every time I see the red, it's just... So this is a double pack hitter right here for John G. Alien, thank you so much for that luck. Whew. Th uh, this is like doing it for me. Like, I'm going to probably pass that after this. Ninetales. Beautiful card. It looks really good. And we're going to get another hit. This is a, called a double pack magic. Watch this. Watch out. Oh, Dark Blastoise. Yo, let's go. Dark Blastoise reverse. Do Duo. Pidgey. So, Philip, let's see what we can get you out of here. Growlithe. Potion. Charmander. Char Char. Charmeleon. Charmander squad, if there was one, they would be right now. Ponyta. Rapidash. Come on, guys. We got a Pidgeot as the rare non hollow. So, a non hollow, but Philip. There's huge potential as a second card. This is like a backup. Plan. Backup plan could be better than the, the first one. Dark Dragonair, let's go! Another huge hit! Dark Dragonair in reverse, hollow form with the beautiful crystals in the background, the purple pops. This is originally from 
Rocket set. We got Thorson 48, sending hollow pools. Good luck, get the Zard. Oh, we got we got Ando in the house. Unlisted Leaf says, bruh, Pokerev already pulled the Charizard. Technically, kind of. So check this out, Ando. I'm gonna show you if I could grab it without knocking anything over. So Ando, this was the box topper. Now, when you open the box up, you already know this. There's four box toppers. The Charizard was in ours. The Charizard box topper. This is just one version of the Charizard in this set. So there's still huge potential. We can get the hollow. We can get the reverse version of that in a normal card size. So we're doing big things. We're making it happen. And now that you're here, usually when you show up, we get some crazy luck. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see the Charizard in one, either hollow or reverse hollow form in here. Let's go. Come on. Slowpoke. Routine. So you showed up just in time then. Dark Dragonair again, but this is the nine reverse form. Rhydon is the reverse, but as they say, it ain't over yet. There's something gonna there's gonna be something back to here. It's guaranteed. Eevee, yo, let's go. Another one. We got like three huge reverse hits back to back. Let's see what we can do with this Machop. We're not even halfway through this. So guys, if, if you want to grab a snack, like I'm being serious. If you want to grab a snack, go ahead. You got like got some time here because we're going through this whole box and there's potential in every single pack we got over 1600 live viewers right here in the poke cave whoops i skipped one rhyhorn so thank you guys so much for being here again for this craziness sand slash almost said sand true sand slash sand slash sand true sand slash sand true and golem is the rare but we got one more shot to make it happen Oh, Tentacruel is the reverse. We got Magikarp. We got a Potion. And thank you for the super chat. We got a Psyduck. We haven't seen that one yet. Now, again, this card is a, or this set is 110 cards. Golduck to go with the Psyduck. But you got to remember another Psyduck that it's really 220 plus the box toppers. There's another four. Plus, there's non hollows you can only get in the theme decks. Charizard. Raichu, Mewtwo, I think. Dugong, we got a Seal. We got an Eevee. Come on, let's see if we get a Hollow out of here for Jordan. Rhydon is the non hollow rare. Here we go. Drowsy is the reverse. Yo, let's get it. This could be the last time we ever really open this set in the Poke Cave. And I'm not just saying that, it really is a really tough set to find. Um, a valuable set and you know a set that just keeps going up in value so we got the Kadabra we got an Abra we got a Drowsy Snorlax coming in as an uncommon so normally this was a rare in jungle and they threw it in here as an uncommon well, I'll take it why not Drowsy again so we're gonna see if we can get a hollow hit maybe let's see what we get Ghastly not of course not yet Executor non hollow rare but we're gonna see what we get on the last card. There could be something back here, a Charizard, a Blastoise, a Venusaur, a Gengar. There's like so much potential. Needle King is the reverse. Yo, let's go. We got a rare. We got a Charmander to start off this pack and a Charmeleon. So this is the theme in this one. Charmander, Charmeleon. I keep skipping sometimes. Ponyta. We got a Rapidash, another Ponyta, a Vulpix. So is this the one that's gonna have we got energy retrieval. We got a Vulpix. Come on. Come on. Oh, Dark Vaporeon. Let's go. Dark Vaporeon as a hollow out of this pack. This one's originally from Rocket. And this is one of the evolutions that you can get out of this set. So, a Dark Vaporeon in a PSA 10. What is that worth? Dark Vaporeon. $1,500 or more. Yo. This must be a really hard one to get. Yes, I'm saying, let's check it out. Let's check this one out. Wow. I'm not seeing anything, I don't think. No. I don't see anything on that hollow. The centering, really good. Like, spot on centering. All right, we're going to see what the next card is before we look at the back of this one. Because there's going to be two hits. Got to be careful. Muck! Yo, okay. We got a Muck Reverse. And I think this one normally is a rare, yeah. Is it a rare? It is a rare. So it's a rare on top of that. Bringing the luck, but literally right here. Bringing the luck. We got Sandshrew, Sandslash. Sandshrew, 
Rihel. Do Duo. I bet you it's going to be a Do Dream. Ooh, just predicted the future. It's going to be a Do Duo. Ooh, just predicted the future. It's going to be a. I don't know. Fiji. Growlithe. It's red. Oh, yo, Flareon. Let's go. Another evolution back to back. Originally from Jungle. Oh, this is one of my. I, I can't say if it's my favorite evolution or not. There's so many awesome ones, but it's definitely up there. The Flareon. And this one also is looking really well centered. Oh, this one's got to be a potential. I don't see anything. That hollow is so crisp. It's just beautiful. Evolves from Eevee. But let's see. Evolves from Eevee with the stone, of course. Snorlax! That is a huge hit. I'm gonna put these, I gotta be careful. So this is a Machop, and this one was for Simon. So Simon W, we got a Mankey. Primate, I bet it's gonna be a Mankey. Ooh, predicted the future. Onyx, I don't know what's gonna be next. Potion Energy, Rhyhorn, gonna be a Rhydon. Bet, no, Sandshrew. Sand Slash, Sandshrew again. Golem, oh, we're at the rare. So Golem, non hollow rare, but let's finish it strong. Jinx is our reverse hollow ponyta. We got a Vulpix. Ooh, I'm seeing the fire. That's what we need. The fire emoji. Bring the fire emoji. Because we got an alien right here. We need the fire. Eevee. Arcanine, it's working because we're getting fire Pokemon out of here, which is a good sign. We got a Rattata. We're coming up on the rare. After this one, Raticate. Come on. Let's get a Charizard. Executor is the rare. But we still got one more shot. We got our backup plan, which could be a plan of itself. Rhyhorn, reverse. Let's go. We got a Caterpie. Metapod. We got so many chances. I get huge cards out here. Nidoran. Nidorina. Nidoran. Bill. The classic Bill from base. You gotta love it. What do you think, Alien? Yeah. You got some, like, dust on your face? No? Okay. Okay. Execute. Oh, I'm slipping. Meow. I think this is something. Yo! Jolteon! We got the Dark Vaporeon! We got the Flareon, and now we got the Jolteon! Yes! Yo, this is from Jungle. Yo. Shout out to Gem Mint Pokemon, by the way. Favorite artwork is the Jolteon. It probably has so many of these cards. Oh man, Jolteon in a PSA 10 in this set, like 600 bucks. How's it look? I gotta be careful because there's a reverse back there, so I can't do too much moving around. But from what I can see, it's a beautiful card. It's like the Poke Cave standard that we always get here. Let's go. Let's see if we can get something even better. Can we do it? Yes, we can! We got the Venusaur! I gotta be careful again. Motion. Psyduck. Golduck. I bet you it's gonna be a Psyduck. It is. And then it always changes to something else. Seal. So Dugong. Dugong. That's probably gonna be maybe a seal. A seal. And then I don't know. Eevee. Alright. Amistar. Not bad. Alright. A boss from Amistar. Beedrill. Non hollow rare from base. We got one more shot for Devin S. Mankey is the reverse. Voila. We got Firo. So Firo, Spiro, Firo? No. Abra. Kidabra. Abra. Drowsy. Hey, Ollie says the Zard is shy, so Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss. The like button, like a Machamp. Oh, I added the like a Machamp part in there, but you guys know. Thank you so much. Ghastly. Come on. I think this is a good pack. I just feel it. Moltres, another one that dropped my stomach for a second there. Not gonna lie. We got Rhyme Style in the house. Second pack, we'll have a Charizard. Second pack, okay. Charizard's in here now. Moltres, and it could be in this one too. You never know. Vero! It would be so crazy if we got the Charizard in reverse and in hollow form. Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, Caterpie. So it'll probably be Metapod. Metapod, yep. And then a Caterpie again. Yes, Caterpie. And then, I don't know, Nidoran. Nidorina? 
Knit Arena. See, I can predict the future. And then, I don't know. What's it gonna be? Pokemon Breeder is the rare, but we still got a shot for the reverse being a Charizard. Come on. Somebody just told me to kiss Alien. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Tauros is the reverse in this one. Yeah, pretty legendary. So Weedle to start it off for Justin D. Spiro, Firo, Spiro, yes. Gasly? No, Abra. Abra, Kadabra, Abra. Drowsy. Snorlax. How many more we got? One more. I think this is the rare coming up. All right. I'm going to close my eyes for this one. Alien, you just let me know how we do on this next one. Are we good? How do we do? Oh, yo, let's go. We got a dark version. Hollow. Out of this pack. Let's get it. Dark version. Oh, I love that. I love that card for Persian. I don't know what it is about this Persian card, but such a sick artwork. Like, it just looks so menacing. Side view and everything. How are we looking? We'll look a little closer in a little bit. Because we got one more card back here, which could potentially be even better than this one. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Hypno, yo! Another one that's actually pretty good. I mean, this should be a rare. It is a rare. It's Psychic Pokemon. Here we go. For Alan, the... Not Alien. But maybe... We'll get Alien Luck. Mankey... I like the polytoads we have in there. Come on. Mankey. Onyx. Dean said Skyridge. That would be crazy. Rhyhorn. Come on, guy. Yo! We got a Dark Dragonite. Let's go! Dark Dragonite from Rocket. Oh, yo. Let's go. Oh, I got to be really careful with this one. I'm gonna, we're going to look at this one in a little bit up close. That's what I'm going to do from now on. We'll just look at it up close after. But Dark Dragonite, let's go, yo. Oh, I love that card. From Rocket. Oh, I just looked at the price. It's, it's like $1,500 plus for a PSA 10. This is going to be a huge pack. Let's see what's behind here. Could we get another dragon? This is the, the other Alien. It's not the Alien version, but it seems like it might be an Alien. At this point. Oh, everybody's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dodrio as a reverse. Not bad. So we got a potion. We got a nominee. I want to see that Charizard. I think we could still make it happen. Mysterious Fossil. And so with the Mysterious Fossils, they put them back to back literally, which is pretty interesting. Kabuto. Onyx. Geodude. Geodude. Graveler. Geodude. Coming up on the last one, my dude, Geo dude. Dark Slowbro, another hollow, yo, back to back. What is going on right now? I think we were slacking on hollows a little bit for like the first part of the second half. So there's probably a bunch of hollows. Well, we, we are getting them. So we got Dark Slowbro, another one from Rocket. Someone said Aliens Resurrection of, is Alan. <laughs> oh man, yo. So we're gonna look at this up close in a bit. Dark, um, Slowbro. 200 250 bucks in a psa 10 but we still got one more hit it's like the the whipped cream the cherry on the whipped cream nid arena yeah we got to keep it in line i'm gonna i gotta stick to i won't i can't give him this one because it that would have been his which is his so we got to keep it going that way apologies guys all right let's continue it on we got an eevee an amistar we got a pidgey and yes so Letus has the one. Yeah. Alan had two. Letus has one. Just want to double check. So Squirtle and War Turtle. So a nice pack there. And another Squirtle. And a Tentacool. Not bad. All right. We got a Tentacruel. We got a Tentacool again. So let's see if we get a hit again out of this one. Yo, let's go. We got a Gyarados. Yes. Yes. This is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Literally. And the luck is still here. Thank you so much, Alien. So Gyarados, and this is another one. This is three in a row for Hollows. And Gyarados is um, like $300 plus in a PSA 10. Let's go. Gyarados is looking really nice, but there could be, there is going to be something else back here. So let's see what it is. Hopefully something awesome. Yo, it's an Ivysaur. Let's go. So Sand Slash. Sand Shrew. We 
got a rye form. We got the Dodrio. We got the Doduo again. We got the Pidgey. Growlithe. Come on, let's get that Charizard. I've been waiting for a while now. And I know you guys have been too. We got a Dark Raichu. Four packs back to back. Yo, let's go. Yo, so literally, what is this? Four packs now? I think it's literally four packs in a row that we've got hollows. Now, the Dark Raichu is... What is... How much is the Dark Raichu? Dark Raichu... Oh, what? Yo, is that real? On this, apparently Dark Raichu... Oh, yeah, this is a really hard one to get. Dark Raichu is like a $4,000 plus card in a PSA 10. I remember now, this is a really difficult one to get. And same with the Blastoise. The population is super low on these, so... If you guys know what the population is on Raichu and Blastoise, let me know in the chat. But this is the biggest hollow hit that we've got so far, the Dark Raichu. If this grades a 10, ballpark, like four grand. Like, literally. Ballpark, four grand for Cruise. And we got one more hit. Who knows what's gonna be back here. Oh, we got the Golduck! Mmm, this is a- this is... I mean, this is the biggest pack so far, value-wise. We got Voltorb. We got a Bill. Magikarp. We haven't seen that one yet. Potion. Psyduck. Golduck. Psyduck. Seal. We got a Dugong. What are we going to have as the rare? We got the Mewtwo. So this is the one that's from the Black Star promo. This is the only card that wasn't from base, jungle, fossil, or rocket. They took a Black Star promo and put it in here. Um, which is awesome because they definitely wanted to have Mewtwo in this set, so that was like basically um, one of their only choices back then. Let's see what we got at the reverse. Yo, we got Jolteon! Let's get it! So we got the Jolteon in hollow. Boom. We got a Grimer. We got a Nidoran. A Nidorino. We got a Nidoran again. We got a Weedle. We got a Kakuna. A Kakuna Matata, a Weedle, a Spearow. Let's see what we're gonna do. A scoop up is the rare, so a rare trainer, non hollow. Yo, we got an Abra. The one thing is honestly just staying true to yourself, you know, and make sure you're having fun. I know it sounds like gene generic advice. Arcanine, that's an original artwork as well from base. I know it sounds like generic advice, but really just as long as you're having fun and you're, you know, yourself and everybody else is having fun i think that's a great way to grow your channel and your community um and just be po you know stay positive and just never give up that's another thing stay consistent bulbasaur we're getting some really nice hits out of here bulbasaur ivy so the arc the arcanine and, and uh you know just, just staying consistent and um yeah that's that's the advice that i would give caterpie well i'm just learning myself honestly so with that, we got a Beedrill. So Beedrill, non hollow rare. We're gonna finish it off here. With Machoke, not bad. Especially are gonna be like the bigger openings. Haunter, an awesome card. Um, we can hit on stuff within the past like five years, maybe for like five to seven years and hit more bigger openings so more people can jump in on it. Slowpoke, we got a Dratini. Come on, we gotta see that Charizard. We still got a shot here. Dark Dragonair. I love the Dratini and the Dragonair. Magnemite. Let's get a hit. Let's get the Charizard. It's about time. Come on. It's gotta be. Pidgeotto, non hollow rare. And. Grimer! The classic Grimer. <laughs> this is like a card that I feel like I see all the time. The classic Grimer. Like, I guess it's oozing out of the barrel there. Yeah, it's gotta be. Such a cool Pokemon. Grimer. Seal! See? There it is. The original Eevee. You know, simple. Still really awesome. I'm a star. Pidgey. Come on. We got the Squirtle. We had Eevee, Squirtle, and Dark War Turtle. It's going to be another Squirtle. Yes. Another Squirtle. Come on. Tentacruel. Come on. What that charge? Tentacruel. Pidgeot is the rare. I see the energy, the good vibes coming in. Come on. Alakazam, I will take that. Yo, that is a rare, the original base set, Alakazam. Pokedeek with the super chat again. Thank you so much. 
Shout out to Rev, the greatest channel out here. Oh, thank you, Coca Geek. I really, I really appreciate that. I have, um, ooh, let me see here. We got a big announcement. I have the biggest announcement tomorrow and here on Instagram. Lots of hard work from everyone involved. I can't wait to show you all. Thanks for the support. Yo, Poke Deek, let's go. Let's see what Poke Deek has in store. Um, I'm curious to see. I'm I'm sure it's going to be epic because it's Poke Deek who is epic. You guys already know Poke Deek. You got to know Poke Deek. So let's see what it's going to be. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited to hear about it. Nidoran, Nidorino. And you know if it's Poke Deek saying it's got to be crazy. Weedle, come on. Let's finish it strong. It's your boy Danny's blessing the next two packs with aliens and fire and stars. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Kakuna. Come on. Let's make it happen here in the Poke Cave. Yo, we got him a champ hollow. I'll take that. So this is going to be a double pack magic. Let's get it. Oh, that is the original Machamp. If you guys remember from base set. So we pulled this one in reverse. We pulled it in um, hollow now as well. That's so cool to see that card. Like back in the set when it was originally in the base set. Like it's such a, like an iconic original card. Like everybody had this card if you got it in the theme decks. Um, but it's like super iconic. Wow. Machamp. And we still got one more shot here. Come on. Let's go, guys. Let's see what it's going to be. Yo, a Pidgeot is another one that is also a rare. So Pidgeot from Jungle. All right. Come on, guys. This is the final pack. We need everything right now. Alien. Come on, dude. I don't want to knock you over here, but let's go. Bring the luck. All right. Be careful. Don't fall. Dratini. Magnemite. The boss's way. We got a Bolt Torb. Let's go, guys. We need everything right now in the chat. Pikachu. Yo, that is a good sign. The jungle Pikachu. Tauros. Magnemite. Come on. Come on. Pikachu. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Cedra. All right. This is the final two cards behind here. We got two shots at a Charizard. Two shots at a Blastoise. Two shots at um, Venusaur. Gengar. I mean, there's so many. Articuno, I think. Come on. All right. Final shot. Final shot. Oh, Magneton. Non hollow rare. We got one more. We could still get the reverse Charizard out of this. Last card, last pack. Come on, guys. Come on. For Jamie S. Yo, we got a Zapdos. All right, I'll take that one. So we got a Zapdos reverse as the final hit for Jamie S. We're opening up the Expedition. E-Series Booster Box, the first of the E-Series of Pokemon cards. Moraligator, look at that sparkle. You don't need a diamond. This is better than a diamond. Look at this thing. So it's a really, really big set. You might as well just double that. And Charmeleon. Guys, guys, if this isn't a sign, I don't know what is. Every single pack with the Charmander. Now we got the Charmeleon. The Master Ball. Guys, this is from the year 2002. This is insane. Come on. The Charmander. Oh, this has to have the Charizard. Look at this. Charmander, Charmeleon. Let's complete the evolution line. Let's go, guys. The magic art flailing in the waterfall. Yo, there's a bunch of polyrats back there, too, cheering them on. Maybe they're they're waiting to evolve. Look at this. <laughs> this is it with the artwork from back in this, like back in the day. This dude, they have a bulbasaur literally laying back like this. Love and life. That's what it's all about. Pidgey in the grass. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. It's red. Oh, Rapid Dash Hollow out of the third bag. Oh, an awesome hit. I thought for it. Who, who else thought it was a Charizard? Tell me right now if you thought it was a Charizard. Hashtag me. But we got a Rapid Dash Hollow hit out of the third bag in. And we still are going to have something behind there. There's going to be, I believe, a rare. So there could still be a Charizard back there. A Blastoise, a Venusaur, like any of the cards in rare form. They could still. It's blue. Oh, it's a Goldeen. Oh, they put the reverse back there. Okay. And then there should be a another card behind here. Yes. See, it's, it's tricky. Meganium. Okay, we got another starter. Would you guys like Cyndaquil? 
Chikorita or Totodile as your starter for Gen 2? Let me know. I'm curious. I could never decide. Kadabra. What an epic artwork for Kadabra. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Even the commons and uncommons in this set are insane. Cyndaquil! Cyndaquil, Totodile, or Chikorita? Let me know. And Charmander. There's our both of our Gen 1. That was the Gen 1 star, if you guys, most of you know, Charmander. But the Gen 2 was Cyndaquil. So there they are next to each other. The Typhlosion is epic, and the Charizard. And there's Abra. We had the Kadabra to go with that. Corsola. Not bad. Mm, we got a big one. That is the Venusaur out of the second pack for Henry. Guys, this one is sick. This actually always kind of looked like a little bit of an emo Venusaur, like with the hair going down, you know? But this is a big hit. This is a Gen 1 starter. We got Venusaur. It's actually holding a Pokeball. Looks to be like in some sort of, um, I don't know if it's like woods or not, but there's some trees in the background and it's like pretty dark. So I'm going to put, oh wait, you know what? I got to reverse as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to see what their reverse is. And there's a swirl right there. Ooh, okay. We got an Ekans. So I'm going to put this and then we might as well see what's back here. There's so many hits. I got to be careful. For alligator, not hollow. A lot of the reverses are crazy. Let's see what we get out of here. Master Ball. We got a copycat, trainer card, Larvitar, Dratini. Can we get Dragonite in Hollow? There's Charmander. I don't know what it is, but we got Charmanders in almost every single pack. I think there was like one or two packs that did not have the Charmander. This is wild. Coffee! <laughs> Ooh, that is like some smoke screen. You don't want to be around that, dude. That's going to smell real bad. Okay, what do we got? Another Hollow it. Idiot, two hollows in a row. And there's still going to be two other hits behind here. The Diglett. Some of the browns look red. And for Alligator, that's what I'm talking about. The other art artwork, I love this one. We got two from the back. Because you know, like, when they put the hollows in here, they, they switch it up. Okay. Mary's Impulse. I don't know what her, what her impulse is, but we got a Meowth. A Krabby who looks, it's like... I don't know what... That looks weird. Does that not look weird for a Krabby? That does not look like a Krabby to me. Geodude. Admiring a flower. The one flower in the rocks. We got an Ekans. Come on, Mike D. Let's go. Boom! That's the Gengar! That is a huge hit! Oh, I love this artwork. Yo, this is one of my three. Top three favorite Pokemon. We got a Gengar Hollow. Three Hollows in a row, guys. Oh... This is a very valuable one. This is very, very valuable. I want to see what's behind here. And that vile plume strolling down the road with, with just, I don't know, not a care in the world. And a Machamp, non-hollow. This isn't the last of the Wizards of the Coast era. It's the third to last, but this is the last booster box from the Wizards of the Coast era that we need to open up to have opened one of every single Wizards of the Coast main series English set. Pokemon Reversal to start off. Professor's Oaks Research. We got that one in reverse. Remember, because every card you can get in reverse. We got a Clefairy. All right, Thong, come on. Let's see if we can get you out of here. Can we keep, can we keep the luck going? We got a Goldeen. We got a Cyndaquil. Another Hollow. Are you kidding me? The Raichu. I think this is Hollow number, like, four or five. Raichu Hollow hit. And we still got two more hits behind here. Oh, look at that artwork. The Pidgeot. That's a rare. That is a rare in reverse. We hit that one in hollow. And then we get another hit as a rare non-hollow. The Fero. A Charizard reverse and a Charizard non-hollow. Of course, the odds of that are like next to nothing. But it is possible. <laughs> we had a Jinx. The first Jinx of the night. Is that like looking through a fence or something? I don't know. Jinx always... Jinx and Mr. Mime always... They always have something going on in their in their things there. We got a Totodile. Like riding some waves. Or some clouds or something. There's that Krabby. Come on. Meryl. Pika Blue. Oh, that is a huge hit. We got the Mew holographic card out of the second pack for Bradley. Wow. That is a big one. Mew. People love this artwork. This is one of the most popular Mew artworks out there. Well, guys, we got to see what else is behind here. And the Pidgeot reverse again. We'll take it. And 
Ooh, Tyranazar. This is a nice pack. Yes, so we were doing them for a while. They're very tricky to find, but I definitely want to line up an EX Air Booster box soon. We got a Warp Point to start it off. Croconaw. We haven't hit that one yet. Totodile's Evolution and the Bulbasaur. This, like, I want this to be me one day. Just laying back, like, just, just chilling. Energy Search. Come on, this is for Ryan N. Clefairy. Can we get another hollow? Honest! This must be the most, like, confident and, like, just, like, looking ready to fight Oddish that I've ever seen. Like, I actually really don't want to, I wouldn't want to mess with this Oddish. That Oddish is out to get you. It's a hollow! It's a hollow! We got an Alakazam! Oh! We are piling up these hits. Guys, one single pack for Ryan N. Look at this thing. That's another big one. There's no pricing on this one because it's so hard to get. It's so hard to get. We got it here for Ryan. All right, but don't forget, there could be two more hits back here. There could be another Charizard. There could be a Charizard back here. There could be two Charizards back here. Oh my gosh. And the Venusaur. Oh my gosh, we got the reverse Blastoise. Are you kidding me? Uh, twins, thank you again. You were too generous. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> Blastoise93, what's up? Such an epic set was slept on so hard back in the day. Really starting to get some serious track. Absolutely, like this set. A lot of these sets were slept on back in the day. Like hardcore, like just just completely, like no, not as many Pokemon were into, uh, <laughs> not as many people were into Pokemon. Like, at all. So a lot of these went under the radar. Pidgey! But the artworks are, are just outstanding. Most of these are, like, hand-drawn. Like, you could tell this was such a hand-drawn artwork here. That's what I love to see. The hand-drawn artworks the most. Energy Search. The fairy. Fairy. John, come on. Let's go. There it is! Cloyster Hollow Hit out of one single bag. We got so many one-back magics. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. Because <laughs> there could be something else behind here. That's the crazy thing. There will be something. What's it going to be, though? Oh! Top it off with the Feraligator Reverse. I love that artwork, guys. Max Lee, best of luck. Everybody, throw in the alien luck for Max Lee right now. Let's see how many alien emojis we can get in the chat. Let's do it. Guys, blow it up. Let's see if it works. I'm telling you guys, every time you 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 throw in the, the, the good luck emojis in the chat, we get it. And people are already calling the Zard. All right, throw in the aliens. Do it right now and watch. Here they come. All right, here they come. <laughs> Let's go. Flappy, it's Christmas morning or Christmas night. Two presents. Oh, and, and the Flappy is actually powering the tree. Nice. That's a cool artwork. Cool fish. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> And the goats are in there too. Squirtle. Oh, look at look at the the wall of aliens. We got a Spearow. We haven't. I don't think we hit that one yet. Totodile, watch this pack now. Watch this pack. This is what happens in the Poke Cave. Boom! Tyranitar Hollow hit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at that wall of aliens. We got a Tyranitar. That is a huge hit. I absolutely love Tyranitar and the artwork in this set. Look at that. The colors, it's, I can't tell exactly. It's like, it's not a black. It's like, it's like steel or like kind of silvery mixed in with black. And it's not over. There could still be two more big hits back here. <laughs> there he is. There's our Oddish. There's our Oddish. Oh, I actually love this Oddish. I love this Oddish back in reverse. I will take that. That is so cool. And the Mew! Energy removal. We got the, uh, the, the Pupitar. We got a uh, Squirtle. Streamer brain. That's my excuse. It's my streamer brain. Machop and Diglett. There's a Rattata. Come on. We got to get our... Oh, we got an Arbok. Let's go. That is a sick looking dude. He's like ready to attack with the poison spray. Yo. Hollow out of the second pack for Anthony. Let's go. Wow. We got the Arbuck. So there could still be two more hits behind here. Two more good hits. Let's see. 
Boom! I love that artwork. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe we got that in reverse. I love that. The total dial in reverse. And we can still get another big hit. It's the Vero. Not bad. Okay. Let's see if we can get another hollow. Get the gloom again. It was like the last time was the first time we saw it. And then we see it again now. It's pretty crazy. Hit my Lee. I can't try to kick. I, I always want to try to kick, but it does not happen. We got a Tota dial. <laughs> Krabby. We got the Meryl. Pidgey. Let's go. Come on. Oh, Meganium. Nice. That'll go really nicely with that reverse that we had as well. And it's the other artwork. Hollow hits. Wow. They just sparkle. Do we got a swirl? I don't think so. But we have all those little orbs in the background. All different shapes, like little diamonds. And that's not that's not it. Because there's two more spots in here where we could have hits. Alright. Let's see. Mmm, we got the Cloyster. That's a rare. We'll take a rare reverse any day. We had that one in Hollow as well. And then... Mewtwo! I forgot about him! Mewtwo's in this set. <laughs> the first time we're seeing a Mewtwo. That is a really nice pack now. We got the Hollow Blastoise. There's so many cards. To complete this set, if you wanted to open up booster boxes or booster packs, you'd have to open up so many booster boxes to try to complete it. There's, this set is just incredibly big. I think if you opened up a case, which is six booster boxes of these, you probably wouldn't complete the set. You, you probably would still be missing cards. That's how big it is. I mean, with all the reverses, got a Chikorita. Come on, let's make this pack count. Let's make this a big, big pack. Let's go. And actually, right now, guys, throw it in the chat. Let's go. Let's let's go. Throw in all of the alien luck right now. Let's just throw every good luck emoji in the chat. Oh, wait. Let's go. I already see people calling it. You know what to do, guys. Come on. This is final two. This is it. We got to make these final two count. Let's bring the luck right now. Here they come. All right, let's go. The wall of good luck has emerged. That's what we need. All right. Diglett. Oh, that's a solid hit. Yes, he works every single time, guys. The Mewtwo Hollow. That is a really, really big one. Oh, Mewtwo. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not a natural Pokemon. Was made in a lab based off of Mew. Well, we got the Mewtwo. Now, don't forget, guys, again, there's two more cards behind here. Okay? There's two more cards behind here. Let's go. And by the way, the value on this card, we there's we have no idea. Nines go for like 600 or more. So this if this got a 10, it would probably be insane. All right. Pokemon Nurse. Reverse. Not bad. The Whooper Whoops is there, though. Can we get a Whoop Whoop in the chat? And Butterfree. I forgot you were in this set. A non-hollow Butterfree. And there's a bunch there. It's always like that bye-bye Butterfree. You always see a bunch of Butterfrees in the distance and another one like going towards it. An Aquapolis E-Series booster box released in the year 2003. The first ever, first ever crystal cards to ever be released. The Espeon box topper out of here. Let's go. Super Energy Removal 2. We got the Mr. Mime hanging out in the city. Execute. There's a bunch of different executes. There's Mareep, a Chansey. Yo, you are right. So the hollow just appears out of nowhere. We got a hollow nine tails. That is our first hollow of the night. Finally, alien, you're showing some love to us. But that's not all. It's not over yet because there's also going to be a reverse back here. And don't forget, guys, all these cards come in reverse. I mean, Tyranitar, you can get some big reverse hits. Let's see if we get a double whammy. Mmm, the Hypno. That is actually one of my favorite Hypno artworks of all time. If you guys check it out. He's actually looking in the window, and he's doing Dream Eater, I believe, on, um, if that's a person sitting there or something. Yeah, with their head down. He's using, like, Dream Eater. I love that artwork. And you are right, Rob Style. And then there's the rare behind there, the Parasect Non-Hollow Rare. Those gift cards were courtesy of, again, Shining Bob Quaza and Jeff the Ref. We got a Nidorino to start this pack off for Andrew L. The Mr. Mime. We're on, I'm going to start keeping track of the Mr. Mimes here because they're they're... Mr. Mime's a little bit, mm, or yeah, he's just a little, oh, okay, hold on, but the Psyduck is sick, I'm telling you guys, like, 75% of the Pokemon in this um, set just look like they're having the time of their life, we got an Eevee, an Oddish, 
Oh, there it is. Our second hollow hit of the night. We got a Steelix fist bump. Okay. Steelix hollow hit. And it ain't over yet. Because I want to look at this one really badly up close. But well, maybe I can a little bit. Okay. But we got to see what's behind here. What's behind door number two? Oh, it's actually the Rainbow Energy, and we wrote that down at being a card that's actually valuable. About $200 in a PSA 10. And finish it off with the Electrode very carefully. There we go. All right, so we're going to go two from the back. One, two. Let's see if we can get our third hollow hit of the night. Grass Cube 01. Memory Berry. We got a Hitmonchan. I think there's something in here. I don't want to jinx it, but I think there's something in here. A Mankey with the rainbow in the background. The Chincho. Oh, I was right. It's an Ariados hollow hit. Let's go. Wow. The green really, really makes this card pop. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Now, the next card could be a big one. It could be even bigger. That's the thing with this. Okay, Skibloom. Not bad. We got a Pokemon. And then to end it off, we got an Espeon. Is that a... That is a rare. Okay, so the last card, I believe, is always a rare. All right. Can we get our first Crystal? Time Shard. Got an Apom. The Pinsir. Smeargle. Remoraid. Oh, oh, oh! There it is, baby! Houndoom coming in as Hollow Hit number four! This is exactly what we've been waiting for. One of the most beautiful artworks in this set. I'm just looking at it right now on the side screen I have over here. In case you guys are ever wondering why I'm looking over here, like, what is he looking at? I'm not looking at you, but I'm looking at you over here. Houndoom is coming in as our fourth hit. Mmm. I absolutely love this artwork, guys. Oh, wow. Houndoom on top of, like, a mini mountain just looking down with, like, the burnt trees in the background. Or whatever. They don't have leaves on them. Oh, man. I almost forgot. There's There could be something else behind here. We're changing up this opening right now. Hitmonsop. That's... Oh, that's a that's actually a common card. But that's a really nice hit for a reverse. And a Needle King non-hollow. That was a really nice pack. That Houndoom. Wow. All right. All right. Smoochum! We haven't seen you yet. Happy. Happy as can be. Whoop, whoop. We got a Spinarak. Ponyta. The horsey and, like, the super mad Shelter. Shelter. Oh, I didn't see that just totally tripped me up. We got an Executor. Let's go. This thing sparkles like crazy. Like, if you look at the, the hollow pattern on these, it's nuts. It reminds me of the base two card hollow patterns, but, like, even more shiny. That's wild. Okay. And there could be something behind this. Ooh, I will take that. A Houndor Reverse. That is solid. And finish it off. With a Quagsire half in the water. In the city. In the city. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about mimes, uh, to be honest with you guys. Ryan, what's going on? Let's go, Rev. Thank you so much. I appreciate the super chat and the support and just being here. Just hanging out with us. Hopefully, everybody's having a good time. The Bellsprout Army has emerged. Lootbox TV, I'm looking at you. Fighting Cube. Let's see if this one's going to be a little courtesy of Lootbox TV luck here. Magnemite. Ooh, Execute. Drowsy, sleeping in a tree. Mmm, yo, we got the double whammy. Muck coming out of the second pack. For Ryan M. Woo! That is crazy. Ryan M, you have some crazy luck. And it's M like Mary, by the way, because I see another Ryan after you, Ryan N. But this is Ryan M. Wait, Ryan M. Oh, hold on, guys. I can't think straight here. I'm losing my mind. Ryan M from California, okay? M. I'm not going to say your full last name, but MCL, okay? Just want to make that clear. Ooh, yo, let's go. The Scizor Reverse. Wow. That is 
probably one of the best reverses that you can get out of here. And the Togetic non-hollow. Get the Grass Cube 1. Oh no, we have our like one of the first sad Pokemon. What's going on, Whooper? You're not whooping anymore? Where's your buddy? Hitmontop. Got a Porygon. Houndor. Spinarak. Come on. Oh, we got a hollow hit electrode. I think this might be hollow number six, I'm gonna say. And behind here. Ooh, and a Mareep. So we got a Pokemon. I always like getting the Pokemon um, reverses. And an Octillery non-hollow rare. So let's throw these into a sleeve. That's what I call one pack magic, guys. This will be the one. We got a Meryl. And if you guys didn't see, Ando just got like a ridiculous $10,000 plus mystery box from TCA Gaming. Um, that was wild to watch, so. And he's going to be opening every single pack of Pokemon cards that's ever been released. Which is another thing that's just crazy. He's doing crazy things over there. Um, but of course you guys already know Ando. Town Volunteers. So this artwork is really nice. We got the Whooper is happy again. Whooping. Squirtle's there. Hoot Hoot. And um, Bulbasaur. That is a really cool. I love the... Like, trainer cards definitely are not my favorite, but when they put, like, a bunch of really cool Pokemon in them, I love them. We're gonna execute. We got the Voltorb. Come on. Let's go. Doduo. Oh, we got the Tyranitar. Let's go. Yo, that is wild. <sighs> Tyranitar. Oh, my goodness. Guys, this is one of the biggest hollow hits you can get out of here. That is up there with the Houndoom for me. Like, officially, oh, I can't get over the artworks on these. Like, I know I keep saying it, but this Tyranitar, I got to put it in a sleeve. And I got to see what's after this. Porygon 2, I will take that. Is that a rare? It is a rare. So Porygon 2 rare. Going to gently put that down. I'm going to take the Porygon 2. And we got a Muck in the back there. Okay. Juggler. Pokemon Fan Club. Lickita, Togepi, Horsey. And guys, the thing with the Aquapolis and the E-Series sets in general, like the conditions on these cards out of the packs are phenomenal. It is it is known in the Pokemon world, in the world of collectors, that the E-Series has the best, best um, condition cards out of packs from the Wizards of the Coast era. Bellsprout. Oh, yo, see, this is what I'm talking about. We were lacking so hard in the beginning, but now the fire is here. Tyranitar. And then we pull the Suicune. Another one of the biggest hits you can get out of here. And we got a reverse coming up next. This will be like the cherry on top. Let's see. Oh, I will take that Cubone all day. Cubone reverse. And a Steelix. Another artwork for Steelix in this set. Non-hollow. It is about time for a crystal. Alejandro. Let's see if we can make it happen. And the Onyx. Let's see how many Pokemon are happy here. Cubone. Onyx looks pretty happy. Gralic is just chilling. I don't know. You don't have a, really have a face. But you're probably happy. Oh, yo. We are definitely happy now. We got the Arcanine. What is... Like, what... Arcanine out of the Arcanine pack and followed up before with the Growlithe. Another phenomenal artwork. The card, like the Pokemon literally is like popping out. I don't know how they did that. I guess they outlined it or something, but it's like, oh, it just pops so nicely, guys. And reverse will be our cherry on top here. Ooh, Tentacruel. And we did have the Tentacle as well. So we're getting some evolution lines in here. That is solid. I think that might be a rare. It is. It's a rare. Let's go. And the Tyranitar non hollow This pack is loaded. We gotta believe, says Dominic. We gotta believe the Bellsprout army is here. Four of them. And the whoop or whoop whoops. We got a Ponyta. A horsey. Drowsy sleeping in a tree. Oh, yo, are you serious? We just doubled up on one of the best cards in here. The Entei. Oh, no, we didn't get an Entei yet. Entei out of here. I was getting confused with the uh, the Arcanine. Entei out of here. A hollow hit. Oh, my goodness. The Legendary Beast. One of the three Legendary Beasts. 
we got Entei. And guys, the hollows have the H in the front of there. So that is H8. There's 32. Goes up to H32. And of course, we can get the cherry on top. Come on. Come on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A Weeping Bell. <laughs> it's a funny looking Weeping Bell. But we got a Weeping Bell hit reverse. It's a Pokemon. And Apricorn Forest. That is a rare as well. Interesting. Pretty cool. So, Weeping Bell going in, Ensei going in, and it's out of the Ensei pack artwork. Let's go. Come on, guys. Throw in the luck. If this is awesome in, in the chat, let's get a little spicy in here because we're trying to see if we could get a crystal out of here. Now, it's not guaranteed. So, that's the thing, right? We don't know if we're going to get one, but we're hoping. And if we do get one, well, we'll take any. But, of course, the Lugia would be crazy. Oh, yo, let's go. This is actually one of the most difficult cards to get from this set. Ampharos, and might I add, quite possibly the coolest looking Ampharos artwork that I have ever seen. Wow. I just, I keep saying it, but I really mean it with these artworks in this E-Series, in Aquapolis, in general. Insane. Ampharos. We're going to follow it up with the cherry on top. Ooh, A-Bomb. Stealing some, something out of a tree there. That's awesome. And the Magneton. This is it, guys. It is time. We are cracking in to the Skyridge booster box right here in front of me. I think there's nothing else left to say. We're just going to jump into it. So here it is. The wrap has already been taken off. If you guys have saw the pickup video about two or three months ago, you can learn all about this booster box. But basically, it was from a collector. And the only reason that he opened this booster box up over 15 years ago was to take... The box topper off and finish his collection and he left all 36 packs inside of this booster box untouched and we are finally going to be opening up but we're starting off with the star me fisherman is the next card up we got a magic harp the final set in wizards of the coast history is getting opened up right here in the Poke Cave. Guys, if you were pumped for this, if you were ready, smash that like button and let's get it. We got a Voltorb. Oh, oh, we got a hollow hit out of the first pack. Let's go, baby. Articuno hollow coming in for the one and only Gem Mint Pokemon. Oh, I gotta throw this one in the sleeve. Look at the artwork on this thing. Started off with a bang. And we still have the cherry on top. It's going to be the reverse. What do we got? Oh, the Farfetch. I have never seen that artwork before. That is wild. Look at that dude. He's just laying back, relaxing in like a, a hot spring. And the rare fortress. Yo, the first bag. Let's go, guys. We're up to 304, 375. You guys are wild. All right, come on. Can we get to 400 in under, in under 60 seconds? Start off. Oh, you guys destroyed it. 450 likes already? 500? You guys, you guys never cease to amaze me. You guys are amazing. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys here hanging out with all the support. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how high we can get it. We're at 550 now. We got a Machoke. That was way too easy for you guys. A Kadabra. We got a Fortress. We got a Cleffa. I'm like keeping my eyes on that light. You guys are almost at 600 already. We got a Radicate. Come on. Oh, oh, we got another Hollow. What is even going on right now? Two Hollows back to back. You guys are nuts. A Steelix. Hollow card coming out of the second pack already. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing with the red background. This is Sky Ridge, guys. We are doing this right now. Oh, this is wild. And the reverse is going to be a Swinub. A cute little Swinub is like the cherry on top. It's like a clay form. And a Jolteon non-hollow. That's a really good non-hollow as well. Let's see what we can do. Started off with a fisherman. We got the underground expedition. Polyworld just like diving in in a crazy fashion. We got the Abra in the sun. Jigglypuff doubling up. We've seen that one. We got the Growlithe. 
Come on, guys. We need some luck. Throw in the aliens. Throw in the fire. Let's go. Oh, yo, there it is. Raichu hollow hit. Yes, that is a huge one. Oh, we got this one in reverse. Yo, check it out. We actually got this one in hollow form. We got this one in reverse. I, I think we got it in reverse. I think, no, no. We got it in non-hollow. We got the Pikachu in reverse. We're going in on all the Pikachu and Raichu evolution line. And there's still going to be a cherry on top. We could still get a reverse crystal behind here. Oh, let's go. We just called it the reverse Celebi crystal coming out of here. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. Okay. This is some doubling up pack magic. Janine. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Hold the UFOs. You guys just threw in the aliens. We got a mystery zone. Persian. Come on, guys. Throw in the luck right now. Let's make it happen. Anthony P., my friend. We got to get you a big hit out of here. So here we go. We got a Weedle. We got a Rattata. Venomoth. Come on, Anthony. We got an Eevee. Remember, guys, there's 32. There's 32 different hollows. Loot box is calling the Zard. It's official. Oh, yo, we got another hollow hit Machamp coming out of this pack. There he is, looking like as swole as ever in this with the sparkly background. He looks like he's about to fight, but I would not want to fight this dude. I mean, he's got four arms. And, like, you could even see the abs on the side there. He's ready to go in. I would want this guy on my side in a fight. I'll tell you that. Ooh, and a double banger. We got the Houndoom reverse. Oh, my gosh. That is a double banger. Following it up with a Vaporeon as well for the non hollow which is another... I wouldn't be surprised if the non hollows are going for, like, 100 bucks in PSA 10 at the very least. Here we go. Two to the front. Wobbuffet coming out, and there's a double Wobbuffet, so double trouble. We got the Crystal Shard. Swinub, we pulled that one in reverse, actually. Ghastly. We got a Mantine. Ted Ursa is also thinking about dipping into the hot spring. Might be a little bit too hot for you, buddy. And we got a Hollow Alakazam, one of the biggest Hollow hits you can get out of here. Let's go. Oh, out of the first pack for Sean H., that is first pack magic, guys. Look at this dude. He's so menacing and evil looking, but I love it. Oh, and that black background. I need to take a breath. This is actually, this is insane. But guys, don't even forget behind here. I Last time I said there could be a crystal behind there, a crystal came out. So let's see what we got. The cherry on top. Oh, giraffe rig. I saw the purple. That is actually really sick. It's a common, but I'll take that all day as the cherry on top for this pack. And the Aerodactyl. I think you guys could do it. We got a mystery plate. This is one of the craziest, biggest openings ever. Kabuto. We got a Nidorina. A Sandslash. Are we going to get two packs in a row? Look at that Snubble. I don't know how you got yourself up there, but you're holding on by a leaf. Not good. Not good at all. Zubat. Another art we haven't seen yet. Oh, are you kidding me? Double. We got a Moltres out of the second pack. Oh my gosh, yo, the legendary bird has appeared. This artwork is unbelievable. Like the hollow pattern on the background of these is just so beautiful. It sparkles at every angle. Oh, my hands are shaking on this one. And, and guys, of course, there could be something crazy behind here. Is Sean going to have the craziest luck in this opening? Ooh, okay, Cyclone Energy, and a lot of these reverses, you never know, like, this one could be a very low population, making it very rare and valuable, but it's too hard to figure out all these, um, but the Cyclone Energy, and the Gengar, oh, one of my favorites, Electro to start it off, we got an Oracle, Flyger flying through the sky, you guys are throwing in the alien emojis for the luck, I like that, we got a Meowth, yo, <laughs> I love this dude. Sitting in a tree, eating like an apple or something, enjoying life. And the Snorlax is so epic for a common. Yo, there it is. Crobat Hollow coming out of one back. Oh, there's so many in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
There's at least nine that I found. It's like, where's, where's Waldo with all the Crobats? All right. So, guys, the Crobat. And then we can get the cherry on top. Let's see it. Let's see what we get. What? No way. We got a Crobat Hollow, a Crobat Reverse. Are we going to get the Crobat non-hollow? That would be some... This is already crazy, but let's... Okay. Is the Machamp. Hyper Potion to start it off. Mistrevious. Giraffe Rig. We got the Deli Bird. Like, this dude knows how to live. That looks like the most chill roof I've ever seen in my life. And the Weedle. I feel like that's the other part of this card, possibly. Like, that's the house. The side of it like that. And then the Weedle is creeping on the Deli Bird. All right. Oh, we got a Rattata. Kicking this sand back. Oh, McCargo hollow hit. Let's go. I love this. The, the hollow patterns in the background are epic. McCargo evolves from Slugma. We got a hollow hit out of the first pack for Cinna. Oh, that is pretty awesome for McCargo. Number H17 out of H32. If you guys will notice, the bottom of all the hollow cards have the H, the letter H in front of it. And guys, we could have a cherry on top. There could be a crystal behind here in reverse. Or an epic reverse card at that. Let's see. Ooh, a really nice one. We got a Flareon reverse. That is some double pack magic all day. That is epic. And finish it off with the non-hollow Dugong. All right, you guys are digging the hoodie. All right. Definitely try to make that one happen for sure. We got two from the back. This is the second pack for Cinna. See what we can do. Friend ball. We haven't hit that one yet. We got a mischievous Sunflora. See, we haven't hit this one yet either. And that's what I'm talking about. This set is huge. It's 182 cards. And then if you double everything up with the reverse, 364. Mick says this is the one with the crystal in it. Calling the crystal. All right. Ooh. That Rhyhorn is epic as well. That close up looks so menacing. Yursarig hanging out. Relaxing. Ooh, we got a fortress. Yo, we got double back. Oh my gosh. Another hollow out of here. Like, the hollow is so nice. You can literally see. I could pretty much see my reflection in that thing. And guys, the cherry on top. What is it going to be? Is it going to be a reverse crystal? Is it going to be an epic reverse card? Ooh, crystal shard. So this is another one where it just looks like a trainer, right? But you never know. It could be an, a really low population card or something like that. And oh, I forgot about Gyarados. We need this one as well. Mysterious Plate B. We got the Pilo Swine and the Houndor. The epic artwork for just a common card. Gramble. Did you guys collect this set when it came out back in the day? Hashtag yes. If you remember buying Skyridge booster packs back in the day. Kakuna Matata. Haunter. Can we get the Ghastly as well? Oh, another Macargo. Oh, the, the red throws me off. But are you kidding me? Sinna literally got three packs with magic. Three. You were on a roll, my friend. I mean, you have some insane alien luck. And guys, there could still be something epic behind here. I'm so scared to see what's going to be behind here. What is behind? Door number two. Houndor again. We'll take that one. That's another really nice um hit for a reverse. Sinnoh with the alien luck and the Moltres non hollow rare to finish that off. Whew. I think we can do a little bit better here in the Poke Cave. What do you guys think? I think we get that last pack or last two pack magic. So Julian A starting off. We got the Crystal Shard, a Magnemite, which I don't think we've seen this yet, and it's just a common. So you guys can see like how many card artworks that we haven't seen yet. That Starmie I love. Ooh, the Pikachu. A very nice one. We got the Doug Trio. Ooh, yo, that is a really good hit. We got the Arcanine, the fierce, fierce dog coming in on the second to last one. Oh, my gosh. I was hoping we pulled this one. So, uh, uh, besides being an amazingly awesome, beautiful artwork, I know a lot of you guys are curious on... Uh, prices and values on these. This one in a PSA 10 is going for about $750, or that was one of the last ones, I would say. And then, of course, there's always the cherry on top. What is it going to be? Oh, the white. It's a Jigglypuff, but I'll take that. I will take the Jigglypuff as a cherry on top out of this one, but 
I, every time I see that white, I think the crystal and the Steelix.